Are you ready for some football? Your Steamboat Sailor is getting ready to take on the Coal Ridge Titans live from Coal Ridge High School. Your Steamboat Sailor is coming in with a 2-6 and six record. Yeah, I said 2-6. and six. The Sailors picked up a forfeit victory because the Glenwood Demons were found to have an illegal player that was ineligible to play, and they had to forfeit a bunch of games, including the one against the Steamboat Sailors. So the Sailors picked up a win, and hopefully they can pick up another one tonight against the 4-4 four and four Coal Ridge Titans. Coal Ridge comes in with a beefy offensive and defensive line. They've got a kid who's over 300 pounds and several 200-pounders. So the Sailors are certainly outmanned by a size and weight class, but can the Sailors win with speed? We're going to check in with Coach Sean Baumgartner with his thoughts on the matchup and the season thus far. Plus, we've got some Sailor spotlights on the way. It's Steamboat Sailors football right here on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. KTYB Sports on FM and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. That's right, you can listen and watch this game on the World Wide Web if the technology gods smile on us. Go to SteamboatRadio.com, click on the Steamboat Sailors icon, scroll down to the football schedule, find tonight's matchup against the Coal Ridge Titans, click on the watch link, and you, my friends, are cooking with gas. It's Steamboat Sailors football, and you're in the pregame show, right here on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. We are KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. This is Skip Beardo from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Sailors football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens, Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Hi, this is Doc from Doc Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm P.J. Wharton, president of Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank and proud sponsor of the Steamboat High School football broadcast. Is there a better setting to cheer on your hometown sailors than Gardner Field? Go Sailors! Steamboat High School Athletics, an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. If you're looking for a better banking experience, walk, or better yet, rush through our doors. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Brian Harvey, the Steamboat Sailors head football coach. Sean Baumgartner. Sean, how are you? I'm great today, thank you. A tough loss last week. Aspen skiers came in and they, they kind of skied over us, but that was a good team with a really good quarterback. It, it was. You know, senior quarterback, you know, he started last year as a junior. Big kid, tough to handle. We knew we had to contain him. He throws a great ball, finds his receivers. Receivers do a good job of adjusting to him when he scrambles and stuff. He can use his feet and run, so, you know, he's definitely that, that double threat that uh, proved to be pretty good for them. Certainly multidimensional, and yeah, he could run when he needed to tuck. Check, hey, check. Brian. Check, check, check. Hey, Monica. Check, check. Check, check, check. Hey, Monica. Brian Harvey broadcast. Levels look good right there. All right, we'll keep it. Uh, go ahead, flip the switch, and put us on the air, and uh, we're rocking and rolling from this side. Brian Harvey broadcasting live. All right, we'll keep it. Uh, go ahead, flip the switch, and put us on the air, and uh, we're rocking and rolling from this side. Okay, so listening to you talk just now, I think you need to turn it down just a smidge. Got it. Got it. And just so you know, if anybody says anything, uh, Johnny started the pregame at 6 instead of 6.30, so um, I just had to rerun it. That's not a problem.
that's not a problem. And right now, video looks good. Awesome. All right, thank you. I'll be listening. Awesome. All right, thank you. I'll Backer be listening. As well. He hits the hole hard. He runs with a low center of gravity. So when he pops that out, you know, he's on his way, and he did it twice. He had a couple 40-yard gains there and then stuck that one in the end zone. Which was absolutely huge. And, and his defensive prowess, well, I think his first game was actually against Roaring Fork, and in that game he had an interception. He did. You know, he returned that one for a touchdown. Really smart kid. He has a lot of uh, football sense, so it's been nice to get him on the field. Um, he reads really well as a linebacker. You can tell he's that wrestler type, too, because his form tackling and he wraps up on that he's, he's a sure tackler and he's just a junior correct he is just a junior so uh, i love be, be, be nice to kind of get him going um and i look forward to having him you know down the road we don't want to look too far down the road because we've got a big game tonight against cole ridge but we've got a nice junior class our underclass we've only got a few seniors and they are really starting to contribute now of course can had a great game but the future looks bright. It does. You can look at the roster of our 40 kids. Um, you know, about 24 of them are freshmen and sophomores. You know, we're young. We're, we're actually playing a few freshmen. Finn Russell's a freshman. He's starting for us defensively. And, you know, we're rolling freshmen in um, to give some of these upperclassmen, uh, you know, spells and stuff. So, they, you know, they've taken on this challenge, and they've, they've stepped up to it this year. And I heard the JV team came back from a huge deficit to tie Aspen. They did. You know, they got down 31 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. And we sat a couple kids because we're limited in quarters. Kids like Finn Russell um, that play quite a bit of varsity and stuff. And so once we got those kids kind of in the game and started subbing in some of those kids and stuff, they came back. They ended up scoring their last touchdown with eight seconds left. Jimmy Thielen made a, a great catch. And the pass from Drew Bowers in the end zone and they ended up tying the game 50-50. to 50. So uh, there's quite a bit of buzz walking the hallways the next day. And, uh, you know, that's a great way for those young kids to end their JV season going into next year. Nothing like a little positive taste in their mouth. And let's get a few more of them out for next year as well. So let's talk some seniors here. Cannon Reese, he had another great game out there. He, he's just all over the place, and he leaves it on the field. He does. You know, and we've used him in the backfield offensively. We got him out in a couple of pass routes, hit him on a deep ball um, in the open field there. And then, you know, defensively, he just he flies around. He reads well. He's a sure tackler. You know, we've talked about him before. He does everything for us. Punts, punt return, kick return. He's just all over the place. On, on the line check, Fig, and as you mentioned last week in the, in the interview, He's really starting to grow and play pretty well. He is. He's starting to get an understanding for the game, understanding what to do, where to go. Uh, he's gotten a lot more aggressive. He's a great athlete. He gets off the ball fairly well. It's a matter of just getting him to, in the right position to make the play. And he's really started to progress with that. So it's been it's been nice to see you know a kid come into football, never being around it, and see the, the progress that he's made. And also on the line, another senior that's out there contributing, Theo Hansen. This is his first year coming back to football. He's uh, sat out a, a few years with some other injuries from other sports and stuff. So he's been a nice addition to have as a senior. He's definitely a leader for us. He's vocal. Uh, he flies around uh, both on the offense and the defensive line. So it, it's nice to have those upperclassmen and those bigger bodies out there. And talk a little bit about Ryan Merritt's game. Uh, you know, Ryan's, um, you know, we talked about him before. He made that move to the offensive line and the defensive line. He was a running back and he was a linebacker. Um, and he's really stepped up for us. Probably one of the strongest kids on our team. So, uh, again, it's nice to have those bigger bodies up front and up there. And he's really started to excel at that defensive line, starting to come through and, and make some plays and, and make some tackles in the, in the backfield for losses. And then, of course, solid with the kicking game and, and a solid player, Riley McKinnon. Yeah, Riley, um, you know, he's been our uh, extra point kicker, field goal kicker this year. I think he's at two for three for field goals. And then he plays wide receiver and he plays defensive back. And he did a great job in that Aspen game coming in and playing man-to-man -man defense and broke up a couple passes there. You know, he's a fairly quick kid, so he can break well on the ball. So, you know, he's, he's a kid in that backfield that uh, we really like having this year. And then, of course, a great addition halfway through the season, getting the basketball guys, both Mac Lineker and Tyler Dorn, have been a nice addition at receiver, although Aspen did a pretty good job of containing both those guys this week. Yeah, they did, you know, and that was one thing, you know, having those big bodies outside, and Aspen kind of matched us with that size out there, and, you know, some of those passes and stuff that ended up being jump balls, they were able to break some of those passes up. Having those guys out out there and just having that passing to us, I think, really what helped us open up our running game this year. Well, and Tanner Raper and Drew Bowers sort of continuing to platoon a little bit. It felt like Raper got a few more offensive plays and certainly played well, but Bowers, this competition has been good 
for him. He seems to be settling down a little bit. He has. You know, with Matt Tanner's kind of really our option type quarterback, and Drew's more of that pocket passer spread type uh, quarterback there, but Drew's really stepped up his game in running the option for us, too. His, his reads are starting to come with that. That competition that you have in practice that always makes everybody better. So it's kind of it's nice to have both those guys going. All right, talk about a few other guys that uh, I may be missing. Up front for us, uh, you know, Jack Tracy, just a sophomore. He continues to play well. John Slowey's just a sophomore, another big body. You know, he continues to get in there and, and really impress everybody with his capabilities. And, um, you know, we mentioned Finn Russell, you know, as a freshman starting defensive end. You know, and another freshman that we throw in there quite a bit is Ryan Hansen. Yeah. Um, there's many times that, you know, our defensive line consists of two freshmen playing and a couple sophomores on the inside and then one senior playing tackle depending on how we rotate. That's so you crazy. Know, it's uh, it's nice to see those kids fly around and, and get after it up front. Well, and Finn Russell, I mean, you're, he's not just a body out there. That kid has football instincts and IQ. Like, he is going to be a beast, especially if he grows a little bit. He is. Just with him being a freshman, he really understands technique. He understands where he needs to go. It's just a matter of getting him some more experience, especially, you know, at the varsity level. Only we'd like to take that freshman and give him a year or two, maybe even at the JV level, and let them develop. But, you know, he's a kid that's really stepped on the, uh, the varsity field for us this year and from game one started making plays. Well, his mom says he literally eats, sleeps, and breathes football. So I, I think you got one there. You can take those anytime you can have those kids because those kids they, they step up their game and everybody else kind of seems to follow and uh it helps everybody progress um, and then you know jimmy Thielen, he was getting a little more time at wide receiver before the basketball boys came in but he's playing great on defense as well he is he's not that cover corner that's always going to match up man to man with kids very well he's a good zone type corner but he's a sure tackler so you, know, you love to have those kids out in the open field because he's going to come up and he's going to hit you and you know he's going to make sure he gets those guys down his dad told me he had a broken hand, but Jonathan Kaminsky had a nice game despite playing in a cast. He did, and he has a little fracture in his thumb, so he's got a splint on that thumb that we've been protecting, and he's a kid that's really progressed through the season. The last couple games, he's been one of our leading tacklers defensively. He always seems to be kind of outsized up there in the box, but he finds ways to get through, find a hole, and then find that running back to make the tackle. It felt like Ford Loudon may have been a bit dinged up there. Didn't see him much in the second. Yeah, he kind of was. He uh, hurt his shoulder there a little bit, so it, it affected his tackling and stuff. And, you know, once we got into that second half with the rain and the score, felt it was better just to kind of hold him and, and save him going in for this last week. Big game tonight, Coleridge. You said they're, they're big in the trenches here. It's going to be tough to, to match up with them, but hopefully we'll get a few bounces. Talk about your expectations here. As, as big as they are up front, we really think that we can use some of our speed and our option game to put them in bad positions, hit that hole hard, and if we can get our running game going, then, uh, you know, I think we're going to be okay. Many final thoughts before you hit the grid on Last game of the season, kids have had a great year, really been pleased with the progress that we've made and the improvements, you know, always trying to find those little victories, and I think this season is one of those that, you know, we can find a lot of those and find a lot of positives going into this game and then springboarding into next year. All right, Coach, good luck tonight. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Of course, we are in the pregame show at Steamboat Sailors Football, getting ready to take on the Cole Ridge Titans. Of course, you can listen and watch this game with the technology god smiling us on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Click on the Steamboat about Sailors icon, scroll down to tonight's football game against the Titans. Click on the watch link and you, my friends, should be cooking with gas. Otherwise, you can listen to this game right here terrestrially on KTYD Sports on FM at 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where there are no Hail Marys, just awesome touch. Down dances. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. 
My name is Drew Bowers. I'm a junior in high school. My number is eight. Position is quarterback. I've been playing for four years, and this will be my fifth year. I also like basketball and track. I'd like to go to CSU for college, but I have not made that a final decision. But I would like to play football in college, hopefully in Division One. In ten years, see myself with a good job, maybe with a family, possibly owning my own house. It'd be nice. Outside of school, I'm also involved in work at the Old Town Hot Springs. Things, and I do community service with little kids skiing on the weekends. My favorite subject in school is math and science. I enjoy them because they're challenging and I like challenge myself throughout life in general. My favorite movie, probably Flushed Away, just because it's interesting, it's fun to watch, and you can watch it with anybody with family. Last summer, I moved from Virginia in July, and I met some really cool people, and it's been, it was a really good summer for me, personally. My goals for this season are to really just make the team better and get some more wins. Hopefully make playoffs. That's a main goal of mine. My goals in life are just to be an outstanding person and be successful and just be a good person in general and be good to people. What I remember most about being a sailor is how welcomed I was when I first came here and how great it is to be a part of a family. My name is Drew Bowers. I'm a junior in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steve Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but spacing your place is a little tight? Steve Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steve Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates of more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit steveoresorts.com. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. Chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Cannon Reese, and I'm a senior in high school. I'm number one, and my position is wide receiver, running back, safety, basically anything that gets the ball. I used to play baseball. I really enjoyed that. I run track as well. I also like snowboarding during the winter. The colleges I'm thinking about are Oklahoma Baptist, Oklahoma University, College of Idaho. I'd like to play some college football anywhere I can get. I see myself in 10 years as a successful writer, uh, fiction writer. I don't really do anything outside of school besides sports. Uh, yeah, I do a lot of writing. I'm actually writing a book right now. It's fiction. Inspiration was from George Orwell's 1984, so I've been working a lot on that and working on character development before I just keep going into it. I have about 68 pages or so, and most of it is written in just, like, screenwriting font. Just basically character lines, how they react to things. And that's really what I like to focus on, and obviously my favorite subject in school is writing. I also really like history. History has always been one of my favorites. I'm thinking about just trying to minor in that and major in creative writing. My favorite movie is probably The Dark Knight by Christopher Nolan. It's iconic at this point, and it's just solid acting performances all around. I really like it. Last summer, I spent a lot of time going to football camps, working at the turf, really trying to just get better, get exposure for coaches, and just try to do this stuff in college. My goals for this season are just to get better every game and come out and show that this football team is something special and something is just really good and really should be supported throughout the town, and I'd love to see everyone come out for them. My goals for life are just to be a successful writer, and eventually just a great parent and a, and a great guy, and just an example of how to live a good Christian life. What I remember most about being a sailor is just all my friends, you know, because I'm homeschooled for the most part, and making friends is just awesome. My name is Caden Reese, I'm a senior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. This is Barry, and this is Phil. Russell's Auto Salon. Hey, at Russell's, we make it easy for you. All you got to do is bring me an email address and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Whenever you go on a long trip, it is important to check your vehicle's fluids. Not just oil and brake, but also your windshield wiper fluid, so you can see better. A quick tip so you don't get hit. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by it. Call us at 970-879-1515. We are proud to support Steamboat Sailors Football. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 
600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Jesse Coulter Christensen. I'm a junior. I'm number 51. I play O-line and D-line. I played uh, three years in high school. I also like snowmobiling, snowboarding. Uh, I'd like to go to BYU in Utah. Uh, I doubt I'll be playing in college. In 10 years, I see myself probably with a family living somewhere in Colorado. Outside of school, I'm also involved in music. I do music around town. My favorite subject in school is probably language arts. Favorite movie and why? I'd say Step Brothers because it's hilarious. Last summer, I've been fishing a lot and doing and just a lot of outdoor sports when tubing. My goals for this season are just be better than last year. And my goals for life are be the best person I can be. What I will remember most about being a sailor is probably the uh, the great kids that I get to be on a team with. I'm Colter Christensen. I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband Brett and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm Yannis Bankhauser and I'm in junior grade in Seamount Springs High School. I'm number 33 in football position, wide receiver and free safety. That's my um, actually my first year playing football because I'm here on an exchange year and I try to make something. I also like soccer while I'm playing back home at Switzerland and I like doing uh, snowboarding uh, in the winter. I'd like to go to college at Switzerland, but we don't have college, so it's another school. There, I can't play sports because we don't have a uh, uh, college sports team. I want to uh, be a banker in 10 years because my goal is to study uh, economics. Outside of the school, I'm also involved in the church and here in the exchange program. My favorite subject is in school is sports, uh, P, because I like to move me. I don't have a favorite mo movie because I like the most ones. My goals for this season are playing, uh, running one touchdown, and because I don't want to set down, uh, the goals too high, because i um, playing since five days. And my goals for life is getting married, be successful, and have much friends. <laughs> What I will remember the most about being a sailor is that I could um, integrate me very fast and that we have a great team. I'm Janis Pankhauser in junior grade and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. This is Skip Beardo from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yankee. So we're set up. Offering right lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Sailors football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we are just paint and power tools. 
eight such great pet sections to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful styles to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Caleb. Outside linebacker. I've played for five years. I also like what? basketball and track. I like to go to college at University of Wyoming. I see myself in 10 years probably owning a business. Outside of school, I do landscaping for my job, hang out with friends, kind of just basic high school or stuff. My favorite subject in school is history. My favorite movie is Gladiator with Russell Crowe. And why? Because it's just, I like that warrior aspect. I've always liked that. Last summer when I worked out with the football team, played basketball, went to a bunch of camps, went to Cali plenty of times. My goals for the season are not only to make the team better, but be a better team, encourage players, and just have a fun time. My goals for life are to, um, once again, maybe own a business, be successful in some aspect like that. What I remember most about being a sailor is probably being part of a great team and just uh, working hard. I'm Caleb, I'm a sophomore, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband Brett and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street right across from Mahogany Ridge for three quotes or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Eden Reese. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 23, and my position is a kicker. This is my first year playing, and I also play soccer. Where I'd like to go to college would probably be somewhere in Texas to Oklahoma. In college, I would love to be able to keep playing soccer and just increase in my game. In 10 years, I hope I see myself with a good career and hopefully still playing soccer. Outside of school, I'm involved in other sports and activities like that. My favorite subject in school is history because, I don't know, I just like doodling the history. It's just my favorite thing. My favorite movie, oh my gosh, that's so hard. I like the Lord of the Rings like series because I like action. I can't set up romance or anything like that. Last summer I competed in a whole bunch of tournaments and we won second place, which was great for soccer. My goals for the season are just playing hard and trying to get better and boosting up my confidence with being a kicker. My goals in life are just live life at its fullest. I don't want to have any regrets at the end. Where I I remember most about being a sailor is like the unity and the everything, just how the team supports each other and we don't talk each other down. We just stay together as one big unit. My name is Eden Reese, I'm a sophomore and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies. Scrapes, sprains, and stitches. They're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. 
Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful styles to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Football. Well, now let's go to the booth for the call of Steamboat Sailors Football. Back live or live here at the Salt, excuse me, Coleridge High School. It's beautiful Silk, Colorado. The setting is cool right off of I-70. We're uh, right set, smack dab in the middle of a big ranch. And uh, we've got a beautiful night for football, not a s- cloud in the sky right now. And uh, the Steamboat Sailors coming in at 2-6 and six on the season. They got a weird kind of win. They found out earlier this week that they got a win from Glenwood. It was a forfeit because Glenwood had some illegal players uh, and had to forfeit the game in many games, actually. Also... The Titans coming in with a 4-4 and record here. And we're going to take a quick minute and a half break, and then we will be back with a kickoff for the National Anthem on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. We'll be back with a kickoff for the National Anthem on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Docs from Docs Auto Clinics. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Docs for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Docs are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Docs Auto Clinics, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm P.J. Wardson, president of Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank and proud sponsor of the Steamboat High School football broadcast. Is there a better setting to cheer on your hometown sailors than Gardner Field? Go Sailors! Steamboat High School Athletics, an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. If you're looking for a better banking experience, walk, or better yet, rush through our doors. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. This is Skip Beardorf from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Center's football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, Bass Walgreens, Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, choice, the home of Springs. The Coal Ridge High School as your Steamboat Sailors getting ready to take on the Coal Ridge Titans. Your Steamboat Sailors in their white tops, red bottoms, and of course black helmets with black numbers and red piping. The Coal Ridge Titans with blue pants, black tops, white numbers, which uh, fortunately are much easier to see than the Aspen numbers that we were looking at last week. Uh, So I should have a much easier time telling who's playing who tonight. Steamboat Sailors, as I mentioned, coming in with a 2-6 and record here on the season. Uh, The Steamboat Sailors got a win uh, because Glenwood Springs was forced to actually forfeit several games during their season because they had an ineligible player. So the Sailors picked up a victory, uh, at least on paper, but not on the field. The Titans from Coal Ridge coming in with a 4-4 four and four record. In league play, they're 1-3. And, and they are a big, big team. You look at common opponents, and the Steamboat Sailors certainly have an opportunity here to compete with these guys, although they have got some big boys. Sean Baumgartner mentioned it in the pregame show. The size of their offensive and defensive lines are massive. You look at this. This roster 
And uh, the line consists of number 74, Marco Gonzalez, coming at 215 pounds. Their center, Corey Harrington, at 210 pounds. Their guard, Charles Spell, coming in at 300 pounds. Defensive tackle Damian and offensive guard Damian Spell coming in at 225. So they've got some massive guys here, but that doesn't mean anything. As Coach Baumgartner said, if the Steamboat Sailors can come out here and win and compete with speed and smarts, and that's exactly what they're going to try to do here tonight. And, of course, it's not a round ball here. <laughs> The football is shaped like a football, and if it, it bounces funny, and the Steamboat Sailors certainly could use some breaks, and if they get them, cause some turnovers, uh, and uh, get a little lucky out there, anything can happen. Last game of the senior of the night of the season for both these teams. It is senior night here for the Coleridge Titans, so we've got some festivities going on on the field as we speak. Looks like the technology gods are smiling on us tonight. Monroe Parks is on the camera here. Steamboat Springs High School student, sophomore here, and he is uh, going to be running the camera. You can listen and watch this game on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Click on the Steamboat Sailors link. Scroll down to the football schedule. Scroll down to tonight's game against Cole Ridge. Click on the watch link, and you, my friends, are cooking with gas. and helping me all these years. Colby Lord. We would like to thank a few of our sponsors, our friends at Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC, and Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. I would friend. like to thank everyone that has supported me throughout my life. And my this is Steamboat Sailors football. Don't forget, on Tuesday, second round of the 4A state soccer playoffs, Rod and Chase will be down in Colorado Springs on the beautiful campus of Classical Academy as the Steamboat Sailors, the 24th ranked Steamboat Sailors, are going to be taking on the number five ranked Classical Academy. Steamboat Sailors got a huge upset win against Golden, coming away with a one nothing victory on a very, very windy night down in Golden. Again, it is senior night here. We've got some festivities going on before the game, so we've got a delay in the start here. I'm going to take a quick four-minute break here, and we're going to be back with the kickoff, the starting lineups, and uh, the final game of your Steamboat Sailors football schedule and the 2017 season. Right here on KTYV, Sports on FM at 98.9. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. I would like to thank my mom and dad for supporting and pushing me to become a better athlete and person on and off the field. I would also like to thank my sister like to thank my on the car rides home and to the coaches and teammates, thank you for the unforgettable season. The season wouldn't have been the same without... The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where there are no Hill Marys, just awesome touchdown dances. This is Skip Beardo from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Center's football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. Chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. 
My name is Jack Tracy, and I'm a sophomore in Seaweed Springs High School. My number is 65. My positions are offensive line and defensive end. Years playing, this will be my second year. I also like to play a track and ski. Not really sure where I'd like to go to college yet, but I would like to play football and track in college. And I see myself in 10 years just being kind of successful or happy outside of school. I'm also involved in just hanging out with friends, working at Seaweed Lake. And my favorite subject in school is probably lunch. My favorite movie is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. It's just a funny movie. It never gets old to me. And last summer I worked at Steamboat Lake Marina. It was a good job. It was hanging out at a lake all day. So my goals for the season are just to play every game as hard as I can. My goals for life are to just be a successful person. What I remember most about being a sailor is probably the conditioning. Some of the kids weren't really ready for that and that was pretty funny to watch. My name is Jack Tracy. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Well, my name is John Slowey, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 69, and I play on the offensive and defensive line. Um, I've played for five years with one year at the high school level. Um, I also like wrestling, and I would like to go to college at West Point. I hope to play football or to wrestle in college, and in 10 years, I see myself being fairly successful, possibly in the military. I also have school. I'm also involved in church, an acolyte at St. Paul's, and my favorite subject in school is probably science. My favorite movie is Blazing Saddles, just because it's very funny. It's a classic. Never gets old. And last summer, I worked a bit for the school, and I also attended a football camp at the Air Force Academy, just to make myself better. My goals for this season are to play the best that I can and to make the team better by doing so. And my goals for life are to be successful, hopefully get married, and get a good job that I will really enjoy. What I remember most about being a sailor is teamwork and camaraderie involved. My name is John Slurry. I'm a sophomore and a proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the helpful all-your-home needs place. PJ Wards and president of Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank and proud sponsor of the Steamboat High School football broadcast. Is there a better setting to cheer on your hometown sailors than Gardner Field? Go Sailors! Steamboat High School Athletics, an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. If you're looking for a better banking experience, walk, or better yet, rush through our doors. Remember FDIC, an equal housing lender. Beautiful Silk, Colorado, right off I-70 here. Beautiful setting for a football game. Fortunately, we've got a clear night. I can imagine that this field, when it is windy, rainy, and stormy, would not be much fun. Especially for me, because we are settled outside, just above the stands. So uh, I am very thankful that we don't have weather like we had last weekend for a senior night and the final home game of the season for your Steamboat Sailors against the Aspen Skiers. A game, unfortunately, your Steamboat Sailors were unable to get the victory, but they played strong, they played tough, as they have all season long. Steamboat Sailors have a very young team, unlike this Coal Ridge team. They literally have about 10 to 15 seniors here 
<laughs> on the field. I lost track here. We've got a lot of parents and a lot of kids on there, and we've got uh, also now the senior cheerleaders who are, and their parents who are being paid tribute to here. Is, it is the last home game of the season. The Steamboat Sailors on the far side continuing to warm up here, trying to stay warm, and maybe they can use this uh, to their advantage. As the Sailors have taken some time here to stay focused, uh, they're continuing to uh, run around, stay warm, while this Cole Ridge team is forced to stand here on the sidelines uh, and listen to the announcements and the tributes to their fellow senior players, which is great but uh, not helping the muscles at all. So let's see what your Steamboat Sailors can do out there. Steamboat really is going to have to try to establish the run here. Um, you know, as the season went on, they've improved throughout this season. Uh, some key additions at wide receiver, both Mac Reniker and Tyler Doyne. Both receivers are 6'3 plus. Um, and they've certainly helped the quarterbacks out exponentially to have those big targets to throw the ball to. Uh, in the Moffitt County game, they drew several pass interference calls, which, of course, turned into first downs, and the Sailors were able to move the chains and move the ball. And uh, my thought here is if, if the quarterbacks, and I say quarterbacks because Tanner Raper and Drew Bowers um, have gotten play and have been platooning, um, Drew Bowers has a tendency to be throwing the ball a little bit more. He's more of a drop pass pocket passer, as Coach John Baumgartner said in the pregame show. And, of course, Tanner Raper, a little bit more of the he, – he runs the option and he runs it well because he's really a running back by trade, but he's got great instincts out there. And he can throw the ball as well uh, from that option play. This Steamboat Sailors team running – a very similar offense to the Georgia Tech offense. Um, they run sort of a verve or a veer um, option sort of offense. They spread it out. Um, in the beginning of the season, the Steamboat Sailors were running primarily from the shotgun. In fact, the first two games, it was 100% from the shotgun. When we got to Glenwood Springs, the Sailors went under center, and that helped them out exponentially. They were able to run the ball a little bit better. A little closer to the line of scrimmage, even though the running backs are still seven yards back there. Um, just uh, being able to hand that ball off from under from under center, the quarterback center exchange being there, it was it was they were quicker developing plays, and it was harder for the defense to figure out what was going on, creating bigger gaps and that type of thing. So we'll see what the Steamboat Sailors do. They've now run. They now run most of their plays under center whether they are uh, passing or running so um, this this offense has certainly developed and gotten better as has the entire Steamboat Sailors team looks like we are wrapping things up here we've got our final senior cheerleader here for the Coleridge Titans And again, I guess we've got one more senior here. Your Steamboat Sailors on the far side. Staying warm. Running some sprints out there. High stepping right now. We're going to take a quick one-minute break, and then we will be back with the kickoff. And Steamboat Sailors football as they're getting ready to take on the Coal Ridge Titans live from Coal Ridge High School. Where I came from. Once a Titan, always a Titan. Marianne Fulton. Getting ready to take on the Coal Ridge Titans live from Coal Ridge High School. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town, but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. 
I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. at Coleridge High School. A brisk night here in Silk, Colorado. Your Steamboat Sailors won the toss and have elected to kick off. Riley McCannon doing the kickoff duties as he has throughout the season. Uh, actually, that looks like Giannis Funkhauser is going to be kicking the ball off. Giannis, a big, booming kick. And that one is going to be fielded at the 15, over the left side, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, taking the outside. He's got some room. Funkhauser, the last one there, and he is tackled over the 30-yard line as big number 22, Jan Hernandez, Brings it back to the 25-yard line of Steamboat. A huge kickoff return for the Titans, and they've got great field position here in Steamboat Sailor territory. A nice tackle on the play. Look like Mitchell Fotherham made the tackle here on the near side. Oscar Salazar, the quarterback, under center. Handoff over the right side. Pick up some pick up of positive yards. Nice tackle there by Finn Russell. Pick up of about five yards. Second down, about five to go. Ball marked down at the 20-yard line. Titans moving right to left in your radio dial. Sailors in white with red pants. Salazar, the quarterback, under center. Man in motion, left to right. Hand off over the right side. Cuts it in, picks up some positive yards there. As Jax Powers gets four yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up a third and one. Kind of crept across the right side of the line, looking for a hole, very patient, and then finally fell forward for a couple of yards. Third down and short for the Coleridge Titans. One receiver off to the left. One man in tight to the right. Handoff over the left, right side again. First down and positive yards close to the goal line. John Hernandez with the carry. Hernandez with the carry. The Takes it down to about the three yard first and goal Titans. Cole Ridge lining it up. Finn Russell with the stop. Finn Russell looks like he got the tackle there. I don't have the best vantage point here. Inside handoff, and that looks like it's going to be good for six. Power takes it in for the touchdown. In on the tackle, Jonathan Kaminsky. But uh, unfortunately, it's a touchdown here, and the Titans are up 6-0 in a hurry. 10.35 left in this first quarter. We're just underway. Opening drive aided by a huge kickoff return. by the Coleridge Titans. Here comes the snap, the hold, and the kick, and that is good, and that makes it 7-0. 7 to go in the first quarter. It's the Titans 7, and the Sailors 0. About a 70-yard kickoff return. Set up a short opening drive here for the Coleridge Titans, and the Steamboat Sailors are going to get it here. You know, Cannon Reese and Tanner Raper have had some big returns, but they haven't taken one to the house yet. What a great thing that would be right now. Shooting some optimism towards our Steamboat Sailors. Big shout out to our friends at Doc's Auto Clinic. Taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. And Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. 10.35 left in this first quarter, 7-0 to score. The Titans from Coleridge on top of your Steamboat Sailors. Sailors will be moving left to right on your radio dial. And actually back deep for the Sailors. Cannon Reese. But it looks like 
Is that Joey Burlett that's going to be returning the ball here? No, I'm sorry. That is Mac Rineker. So here comes the kick. It's a big, high, booming kick. It's going to be fielded by Reese off the bounce, picks it up at the 20, cuts it across the field, and he's taken down at about the 18, so he actually loses a yard or two on the carry. So that'll be a first to 10 for your Steamboat Sailors. Looks like it's going to be first and 10 from the 18-yard line for your Steamboat Sailors. 10-29 left in this first quarter. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Doyne out wide to the left. One man in the backfield looks like Reese. Raper, the quarterback, inside handoff, and Reese is knocked down for a loss there. Loss of four or five yards on the play. That's going to bring up a second down and about 15 for the Steamboat Sailors. Ball is going to be marked down at about the 15-yard line. Damon Spell with the stop. Damon Spell making the tackle here for the Coleridge Titans. Tyler Doyne, the lone receiver, off to the left. Rineker wide to the right. We've got three receivers, Ben and Jonathan Kaminsky, also joining in on the fun to the right. Quarterback keep. That's going to be Raper as they spread it out. Raper able to pick up seven, eight yards on the carry as he takes it right up the gut as it looked like they were going to be passing the ball. That's going to bring up a third and about seven to go. Sailors move it up to about the 20-yard line, just on the other side of the 20. So third and about eight and a half for the first. Nice run there by Tanner Raper. Austin Band bringing the play in. And we've got Doyne wide to the right. Redeker wide to the left. Two running backs. Raper under center. Back to pass. Three-step drop. Flushed out of the pocket, and he is knocked for a loss. This big defensive line wreaking havoc on your Steamboat Sailors. He was tackled in the backfield, and that's going to bring up a fourth and 15. So a punting situation here for your Steamboat Sailors. Cannon Reese is going to be backed up to his own goal line here. 8.44 left in the first quarter. Sailors down 7 nothing. Back deep to Reese. That uh, looks like Brandon Herrera for the Titans. Ready to receive this punt. He takes it at the 46. Over the right side. Right up the gut now. Cuts it back. Shimmy and shaking. And he's going to take it down to the 35-yard line. So a nice return there for Herrera. So the Titans are going to have first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. Let's see if the Sailors can batten down the hatches here and get a stop. Opening drive, the Titans were able to move the ball pretty effectively against your Steamboat Sailors. We've got one receiver wide to the right, one to the left. Oscar Salazar under center. Handoff over the left side, positive yards, going to be close to a first. We've got a flotilla out there as in on the tackle, looks like Ford Loudon. Cannon Reese, but unfortunately that's a first down for the Titans. Clock still ticking here with 8-10 left in the first quarter. Sailors down 7-0. Titans on the move again. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Salazar under center. Another hand, no. Little play action. Throws it to the flat, far side. And positive yards. Penalty flag on the play. Pickup of about 8, but let's see who this flag is going to be against. I've got a feeling where the... Oh, we've got another flag on the play. So the same referee threw two different penalty flags here. It's going to be a block block in the back and unsportsmanlike against the Titans. So the Titans are going to be marched back. I'm not sure they're going to assess both penalties, but maybe they will with the unsportsmanlike because that's happened after the after the play. 7.54, clock stopped here 
as the referees are going to march off the penalties. We know it's at least 15 yards. Yeah, they're only going to assess the unsportsmanlike. They've only got one of the calls. Steamboat referees. Handoff over the left side. And positive yards there. Some confusion for your Steamboat Sailors. And a pickup of about seven on the play. Sean's asking why. Coach Baumgartner talking to the ref and saying, hey, how come you didn't mark off both penalties? And right now you can see him on the far sideline chatting. Ref is going to go back and talk to the other Zebras. Let's see what happens here. Hey, guys, we only called one penalty. So I've got a feeling we might redo that down. No, second and 16 right now. We continue play. So they only assess one of the two penalties, and that's what I kind of thought. One negates the other. A pass over the le over the near side here. Complete positive yards down to the 20. And that's going to bring up a third and about nine as the ball ends up being spotted at the 18-yard line of Steamboat. So still third and long here. Pass over the left side here. Hurry up offense here by Salazar and the Titans. 7.04 left in this first quarter. Sailors down 7 0. Well, it looks like third and five. Don't have a great angle from here. Salazar under center. Handoff up the middle. Sailors trying to wrap him up. And that depends on the spot there. He picked up of about five. Jax Powers with the carry. So that's going to be a first and ten here. 6.55 right now left in the first quarter. Sailors down 7 nothing. You are tuned to KTYV. Sports on FM. Handoff over the left side. Or excuse me, the right side. In tight. Picks up positive yards. Maybe 5-6 on the carry. It's going to bring up a second. And about one. Jimmy Thielen on the tackle. Jack Power, a big boy. Second down, one to go. They can get the first down without scoring a touchdown. And little quarterback keep, no, handoff over the right side, touchdown. Jan Hernandez scores the touchdown for Cole Ridge. That makes it 13 nothing. 618 left in this first quarter. Again, this Cole Ridge offensive line is as big as the Broncos offensive line. Here comes the snap and the hold, the kick. And that is good, and that's going to make it 14 nothing. I'd like to thank our friends at Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witte and the team, or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Also, a big shout-out to Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition. Between town and McDonald's on Highway 40 also like to thank Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident. Russell's Auto Salon. They come highly recommended for all your auto body needs at 879-1515, bringing you the collision of the game. And we've seen a few here. Unfortunately, it's the Titan running backs, the Titans running backs right now pounding the Sailor defensive backs. 14-0 to score Sailors in a bit of a hole right now. 6-18 left in this first quarter. Set to receive. Rineker and Reese. Jonathan Kaminsky. And Lowen Epstein. Sort of your middle guys. Salazar, the quarterback, is the kicker, and he's got a good foot. And he's going to put this one up high, stepping up, and is going to take that on the bounce as Reese over the right side. Reese shucks and jives, picks up about 10 yards, and the Sailors will have it first and 10 from about the 28-29 yard line. So good field position for Steamboat as they're starting at their own 29 yard line. First and ten for the Sailors. Let's see if they can get something going here. Tanner Raper, the quarterback here in this second drive. 
They have been platooning quarterbacks a little bit between Raper and Bowers. Raper under center. Two men in the backfield. Two receivers to the right. Handoff over the left side to Austin Band. He had the lone touchdown and had over 100 yards running last week against Aspen, but he is knocked down for a loss over the left side. Five yards. Second down, 15. Ball's going to be marked down at the Sailors, 25. Sailors moving left to right on your radio dial. Clock rolling at 548. 14 nothing. the score. Sailors down. Tyler Doyne off to the left. Rineker to the right. Two men in the backfield. Tanner Raper, the quarterback. Under center. Back to pass. Three-step drop. Throws it up. He's got a man, and he just threw it behind Rineker. A, a good back shoulder pass, but a little bit too... Just not enough on that one. He threw it where the defender wasn't, though, and that's a good thing. I'd like to thank our friends at Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more, offering you knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. Steamboat Ace Hardware, West Steamboat. Two receivers off to the left, one to the right. Doyne is the lone receiver off to the right. They've actually got trips to the left. One man in the backfield. Pitch over the left side. Oh, oh a little trap play there to Austin Van had me fooled, but it did not have the Coleridge Titans fooled. So that's going to bring up a fourth and 15. Actually, it's going to drop them back. Fourth and 20. Or fourth and 17. Reese, the punter, back deep. Here comes the, the kick. It's a line drive kick. Bounces at the 50. Picked up at the 42 of Cole Ridge. And over the left side goes big number 24. Sets so Jan Hernandez. For Ryan Merritt gets the tapple, tackle, but Jonathan Kaminsky was blocked hard. He was knocked into next week. He is back up on his feet, though. And it'll be first and ten for the Titans at their 50-yard line. Timeout, Steamboat. Sailors are going to call a timeout here. As we are down, 14-0, 443 left in this first quarter. I'd like to thank UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. Also, a big shout-out to Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett today and let him help your investments gain big yardage at 879-1851. For all your investment needs, Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Also like to thank Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. If you've got friends coming to town, give them a call at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. You can also check them out online at SteamboatResorts.com. Sailors regrouping here. Getting punched in the mouth by the Coal Ridge T Titans. 443 left in this first quarter. Sailors down. 14 nothing. Pass over the right side. That is complete, but the Sailors were all over it. Thielen in on the tackle. As Ramirez makes the catch, and his forward progress pick, picks him up five yards, but Finn Russell was in there. Thielen was in there, and a nice job by your Steamboat Sailors converging on the ball. Second down, five to go. Ball marked down at the Sailors, 45. Cole Ridge, under center, handoff over the left side. Sailors, read this one. We've got flags everywhere, and we've got a shipwreck in the middle of the field. Nice job by the Steamboat Sailors as Finn Russell was in on the, the tackle, and we've got a holding call as well, so that's going to march him back 10 yards. So a 10-yard penalty with the hold is going to 
move the Titans back to their own 45-yard line, bringing up second down, 15 yards to go. A direction that our sailors like to see the Titans move in. Second and 15. Salazar under center. Pitches it over the left side here. Positive yards for Powers. Powers is going to pick up the first down. Down the sideline he goes. And he is tackled out of bounds by Tanner Raper and Cannon Reese. So it looks like he's got the first down. And then some. First and ten for the Titans at their, at their Sailors 35. Chains have moved and the clock is ticking. 3.50 and counting. Sailors down 14-0. Powers under center. Handoff. No. Yeah, handoff over the right side. Jet sweep. Positive yards. Flags everywhere. We have got dirty laundry all over the field. I think Don Henley just did a drive-by. So it's going to be another holding call against the Titans, which is going to back them up. Sailors will certainly take that, as we've got two yellow flags on the field from the spot of the foul. So that is going to bring up a second down. Excuse me. First and 20. Salazar, the quarterback, under center. Two men in the backfield, rolling off to his left. Looking to throw. Throws it down the flat, and that was nearly picked off. Oh, that one is intercepted. A beautiful catch by Cannon Reese, and the senior making the most of his last game. So a nice break for your Steamboat Sailors, who are down 14-0 with 325 left in this first quarter. So the Sailors will have it first and 10 from their own 33. I'll tell you what, the Titans have been able to move the ball against this Sailors defense. They've got a big offensive and defensive line, but let's see if the Sailors can put something together. Three receivers off to the left. Rineker way wide to the left. Reese and Kaminsky totally spread out, and Raper is going to try to take this one right up the gut. This time, they did not fool the Titans. Picked up maybe a yard or two on the play. That'll bring up a second down about eight. Second down, eight to go. Clock ticking here. About three minutes left in the first quarter. Sailors down 14-0. Sailors break the huddle. Come to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers off to the left. Two to the right. Empty backfield for Raper. Raper is going to keep this one. Try to run it over the left side. And he is knocked down at the original line of scrimmage. So a loss of two on the play. And that's going to bring up a third and ten. So the Sailors unable to move the football here against this stout Titans line. 2.22 left in the first quarter. Sailors down 14-0. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Also on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com where you can listen and watch the game. Scroll down to the, click on the Sailors link, scroll down to the football schedule, find tonight's game, and click the watch link. Three receivers off to the right, one to the left, back to pass is Raper. Raper's got pressure, and his helmet is taken off, and he is knocked down for a big loss. I hope he's okay. Tough kid is Tanner. So that's going to bring up a fourth and about 20. Ball marked down at the 25-yard line of Steamboat. So the Sailors heading in the wrong direction there. Brandon Herrera back deep for the Titans. Cannon Reese, who got the interception and the turnover, slowed the Titans down a bit. But unfortunately, the Sailors not able to create anything off the turnover. 114 left in this first quarter. Here comes the snap and the punt. Big high kick. This one is going to move Herrera back. It's going to take a steamboat bounce down to the 20 inside the 20-yard line. So a huge kick. About a 55-yard kick. 
for Cannon Reese. So he's making the most of his last high school football game as Cannon Reese, one of the lone seniors. Sailors only have about five seniors on the squad. Very young team. They've got freshmen and sophomores that are starting playing against a, a bunch of boys that are close to men. Cole Ridge Titans, big, big team here. Pitch over the right side. That's Powers. Powers takes it over the right. Sailors read it well, though, and get him down at about the line of the scrimmage. So a good play in on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. Jack Tracy and Finn Russell. Look like Jack Tracy and Finn Russell out there. Second down, about ten and a half for the first. Salazar, the quarterback, looks like an inside handoff there. And falling forward for about seven or eight goes the pile. Look like a rub rugby scrum coming down the field. And that's going to bring up a third down and about four to go for the first. And another inside handoff here. Powers. Trying to power the ball, but I don't think he got the first down. He's going to be close. It depends on the spot. This is going to bring up a fourth and one. Looks like they're going to go for it here. Sailors have to be on their toes. Watch out for the quarterback sneak here. And that's going to do it after one quarter of play. We're going to take a quick one-minute timeout. We'll be back with second quarter action with the Sailors down 14-0 on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where there are no Hail Marys, just awesome touchdowns dances. Hi, this is Derek and this is Phil. Russell's Auto Salon. Hey, at Russell's, we make it easy for you. All you got to do is bring me an email address and a claim number and I'll take care of the rest. Whenever you go on a long trip, it is important to check your vehicle's fluids. Not just oil and brake, but also your windshield wiper fluid so you can see better. A quick tip so you don't get hit. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. Call us at 970-879-1515. We are proud to support Steamboat Sailors Football. Sailors down 14 nothing and Coleridge able to power the ball forward there and pick up the first down as it was fourth and one. First and ten now for Coleridge. Hand off over the right side. Jet Sweep picks up positive yards. Rumbling forward for about 10, 11 yards. So he looks like he's going to be real close. Yep, he's got the first down. Nice, nice carry for Jan Hernandez. 11.38 left in this second quarter. Sailors down 14-0. Cole Ridge Titans and Salazar at the line. Salazar, the quarterback, under center. Jet sweep over the left side. And that's Hernandez picking up positive yards, but another flag on the play. And it looks like another holding call here against the Titans. And that's going to move them back 10 yards and bring up a first and 20. The Sailors will certainly take that. The Sailors, as they have during this season, takes them a few series to get into the game, but unfortunately during those few series, they're down 14 nothing. But they are slowing this Titan team down a little bit which is a big positive. First and 20 right now. And perhaps it's the Titans are slowing themselves down with a few penalties. Salazar pitches it off over the left. Halfback option here. That one's complete. First down. That's Hernandez down the right sideline here, down to the 25-yard line. A little half-pack option, but there's flags on the field. And it is way back at the line of scrimmage. 
So something tells me that this is going to be another holding call against the Titans. A well-designed play, but let's see. Holding being called against the Titans. So unfortunately for the Titans, and fortunately for your sailors, that is going to be a holding call, and that's going to march him back another 10 yards, and that will bring up a first and 30. Otherwise, that play was down to the 25-yard line. That was, a, like I said, a well-designed play. And the hold happened on the other side of the field, and the sailors really didn't know where the ball was. Fortunately, the play was coming towards me, so I figured it out. So that's going to bring up a first and 30. Ball's going to be marked down to the 25-yard line of Cole Ridge. Sailors in white with red pants. Salazar, the quarterback, under center. Salazar is going to hand it off up the middle. Sailors reach that one. Just over the right side, picks up a few yards. It's going to bring up a second and long. Second and about 28 to go. Clock ticking here with about 10.35. 5. Left in this second quarter. Sailors down 14 nothing. Let's see if the Sailors can We've tighten things up here and get a stop on this, this drive. Salazar under center. And Salazar inside handoff. Positive yards there. Powers powering it forward. Picks up, oh, I'm sorry, that's Guerrero with the carry. Picks up about eight or nine. It's going to bring up a third and about 15 for the first, maybe longer. Looks like a third and 18. Finn Russell in on the tackle. Tracy helping him out as well. Titans breaking the huddle. They've got two receivers off to the right, two to the left. Back to pass is Salazar. Salazar pushed out of the pocket, running around, scrambling. Now he's going to run with it. Sailors read it, and an open field tackle there by Austin Ban. And that's going to bring up a fourth and long ball up to the 40-yard line of Cole Ridge. This is certainly a punting situation here for Cole Ridge. Cannon Reese, the senior, back deep for your Steamboat Sailors. He's positioned at about the, the Sailors' 30. Here comes the snap. Sailors block it! Huge play, Finn Russell! Finn Russell takes it to the end zone! Touchdown, Steamboat! No flags on the field! Oh, a huge play for your Steamboat Sailors, a break they needed, and they have not gotten many this season. So Finn Russell, the freshman. This kid's going to be around for another three years, kids. What a play. He has got a nose for the football. And he contributed from his first game on. And the Steamboat Sailors on the board, making it 14-6 with 8.55 to go in this first half. Silencing the crowd here on senior night. Here comes the... The snap from Kaminsky, the hold, and the oh, and it's blocked. And in high school football, that's a dead ball. So Riley McCannon couldn't convert on the extra point. And that's going to make it 14-6. to six. That could come back to haunt them later in the game. But a big play on the block punt by Finn Russell. He took it in for six. How about that? Finn McMissile right there, baby. 8.55 left in this first half. 14-6 to six the score. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat Sailors football brought to you by Doc's Auto Clinic. Taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. And Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. Easy to find on the other side of the tracks from Walgreens. Jan Frankenhauser, one of the exchange students, I believe. K 
kicking it off for your Steamboat Sailors. Big high kick. And that one's picked up at about the 25. Oh, positive yards. Look out. He's going to break this one at the 20. Here comes Hernandez. He's got nothing but green grass in front of him. And he's going to take it to the house. But we've got flags on the field. This one could come back. As Jan Hernandez, this kid is electric. you got to watch him with the football. He brought it back, block in the back though. And that one is going to go against the Titans. So every time the Titans take several steps forward, they got to roll them back. A tough one here for this Coleridge team. So that is will be marched off from the spot of the foul. It's a 15-yard penalty. And it's going to march Coleridge back to their own 39-yard line. So they will get it first and 10 from their own 39-yard line. 14-6 to six the score. Coleridge on top of your Steamboat Sailors after Finn Russell blocked the punt and took it in for six. Salazar, the quarterback, Double wing formation, pitch over the left side. That's Jack Powers. He's got some speed. Sailors read this one, take him down for a loss. Jack Powers, the carry stopped in the backfield. Looked like Theo Hansen in on the tackle there. Another senior, a leader on that defensive and offensive line. Second down, about 11 to go. Ball marked down at about the 38 and a half yard line. Cole Ridge moving left to right on your radio dial. Salazar under center. Double wing formation. Everybody in tight. Quarterback keep. Finn Russell reads that one. And they bring him down. Ball down. Sailors look like they have it. So a couple of big plays in that one too. Was uh, all Finn Russell. He stripped that ball. And the Sailors have a man down. Coleridge retained possession. Oh, no, they maintained possession. It looked like the Sailors had it, but it is now third and about four to go. Finn Russell, Finn Russell though, with the tackle, he stripped the ball. Sailors couldn't recover. Salazar, back to pass. Seven-step drop, throws it to the flat. That one's complete. Sailors read it, and a nice tackle. It's going to be close to a first down, but it'll be fifth and about four. He's now to the 40 seven yard line. So fourth and about four to go from the 47 yard line. Maybe three. All they got to do is get over the 50 yard line. Titan Baker in on the fourth and three and they're going to probably go for it here after the block punt. Salazar up to center. Double wing formation. Everybody in town. Oh, Sailors off. Sailors off sides. That's going to be a five-yard penalty, and that'll be good enough for the first down. A tough one for the Sailors. A big break for the Titans. First and ten from the Sailors, 48 now. Clock stopped at 6.58, but now it's moving. 14-6 the score. Titans on top. Hand off to Powers. Sailors read it. And a nice job at the line of scrimmage. We've got a big flotilla out there right now. Power with the carry. Powers with the picks up a couple of yards on the play, but the Sailors Ryan. really starting to play well now. The momentum starting to switch just a little bit as it was all Titans early. Second down, eight to go. Ball at the 47-yard line of Steamboat. Inside handoff, that's Powers. He's big and bruising. He falls forward, picks up about six or seven on the play. That's going to bring up a third and short. Ball's going to be marked down at about the 40. Third down, about three and a half to go. Ball on the Titans side of the Sailors 40 at about the 39-yard line. they got to get to about the 38 for the first. Three yards to go. Hand off there. Positive yards. And Hernandez nearly got through. He is a shifty runner. He gets the first down for Cole Ridge. 
That'll be first and ten from the 35-yard line. Cannon Reese in on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. Clock still rolling here. 5.42 left in this first half. Sailors down 14-6. to six. Titans on the move. Ball over the right side. That's Hernandez. Hernandez, positive yards. Takes it down to about the 25-yard line. That's going to be real close to the first down. That's going to bring up a second down at about a yard and a half. Hernandez, hard to see and tough to stop. That kid is fast. One receiver off to the left, one to the right in tight. Man in motion, inside handoff. Sailors read that one. And he's going to be close to a first down as Fredrickson carried the ball. Stopped by Thielen. And Finn Russell also in on the tackle, as well as Ryan Merritt. So that's going to bring up a third in inches right now. Ball marked down just on this side of the 25. Salazar under center. Handoff. Sailors read it. Oh, pitch over the left side. Look out. It's Hernandez. He's got positive yards. Takes it down to about the 13 inside the Sailors red zone. A really nice play by Cole Rich. Had me completely baffled. Not a difficult thing to do, of course. 430. The clock is momentarily stopped while they move the chains left in this first half. Now it's rolling at 427. 14 to 6 the score. Coleridge on top and on the move. Ball marked down at the 15. Inside handoff. Sailors read that. Nice tackle. We've got flags everywhere. So first and 10. That ball, that is actually going to be against the Titans, so it's going to move him back. Another holding call. So that'll be a first and 20. The ball's going to be back at the 24-yard line. Cole Ridge with another holding call. They've had several. Salazar under center. He's got receivers to the right and left. Another inside handoff. No, nope. pulls it back, pitches it over the right. Hernandez spins, picks up positive yards inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line. They can get a first down just over the five-yard line without scoring. That's going to bring up a second down and 10, ball down at the 15-yard line. Hernandez, that kid is quick. Receivers to the right and left. Salazar, the quarterback, under center for Cole Ridge. Cole Ridge on the move. Handoff inside, positive yards. Looks like Jax Powers, who has been manhandling the Sailors, is going to get five yards on the play. That's going to bring up a third and five from the ten. Sailors slowing things down. 3.30 and counting. Left in this first half. Sailors down 14 to 6. Third down, a long five. Salazar under center. Receivers to the right and left. Inside handoff to Powers. Sailors read that. Jonathan Kaminsky on the tackle. Ford Loudon wrapped him up and then Kaminsky finished him off. He's going to pick up a few yards. That's going to bring up a fourth and about four and a half for the first ball marked down inside the 10. Good volleyball going on tomorrow, so make sure you come down. Clock still ticking, 2.50 and counting left in this first half. Cole Ridge. And they're trying to draw him off sides. Oh, and that's going to movement, and it looked like... Uh, it goes against Cole Ridge, so that's going to march him back five yards. And I think they're going to try for the field goal here. As the field goal team is out on the field, because that's going to bring up a fourth and long. So, Steamboat Sailors really starting to come together here as this game has progressed. Here comes the snap, the hold, the kick. And that one is good. So, Salazar... 
So that makes it 17 to 6 with 232 left in this first half. Let's see if the Sailors can muster some offense. Or better yet, another special teams play. All right, another announcement too. Sailors' lone six points came on a Finn Russell block punt here in the second quarter. That he took right to the house. Something tells me Cole Ridge is not going to be punting the ball here anytime soon. But they do have a, a kicker and a quarterback in Salazar. That was a nice field goal there. He bent it. Inside the right upright. And the Titans extend their lead to 11 points. 17 to 6 is the score right now with 2.32 left in this first half. Sailors football brought to you by our friends at Steamboat Dental Center. Dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Woody and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Easy to find across the parking lot from Ski House at the Whorehouse Restaurant at Pine Grove. Here comes the kick. It's a squibber. Going to be picked up by Reese. Reese over the right side, up over the 30. Still on his feet. Out over the 40, down to the 43-yard line. So a nice return for the senior, Keenan Reese. So the Sailors will have good field position with 2.24 left in this first half. They still have timeouts. I want to say they've got two timeouts left. They called one early in the first half. First and ten from the 43-yard line of Steamboat. Sailors moving right to left on your radio dial here. Let's see if they can get something going. Sailors from the gun. Raper the quarterback. Trips to the left. One receiver to the right. Raper's going to roll to his left. He spins and gets back, maybe loses a yard on the play. Charles fell with a big hit. Ball's going to be on the left hash mark now. That's going to bring up a second down, about ten and a half for the first. He was knocked down for a half yard loss. Two minutes and counting. No two-minute warning in high school football. 17-6 to score. Coleridge on top. Sailors a little slow to get the play out there. Jonathan Kaminsky coming off. Big number 32, Ryan Hansen coming on. Second down, 10 to go. One receiver off to the left, trips to the right. Oh, offsides. Sailors moved on that. That's going to move him back five yards. That will stop the clock with 134. So legal procedure against your Steamboat Sailors will march them back five yards. Not exactly what the doctor ordered. Steamboat really not having a ton of time to do anything here, especially pass the football. They have had no success through the air, a little success on the ground. You know, Steamboat's got a couple of big receivers. I wonder in this situation if you could put Bowers out there. He's got a strong arm. But they're keeping Raper in at quarterback. Three receivers off to the right, one to the left. Tyler Doyne. Rineker split way wide to the right. Back to pass. And Raper has absolutely no time. And he was dropped for a big loss. And that's going to bring up third in a country mile. Looks like about 30. Back to the 30-yard line. Timeout. Titans. Titans are going to call a timeout here because they've got a minute four left on the clock here. They figure they're going to get this ball back here. It's third in the country mile. Sailors actually have to get to the 47-yard line of Cole Ridge. And they are now down at their own 31-yard line. So you do the math. I'm, a, I'm an art major, man. Third and 24 is what I'm guessing here, and that's what the scoreboard says. Hence the guess. I'd like to thank Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition between town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Steamboat's only full-service car wash. Go see Travis in the game. Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's today at 879-1515. Terry and Phil. 
doing a wonderful job over there. I know I got to bring my vehicle in. Third down, 24 to go for the first. 104 left in this first half. Sailors down 17 to 6. Sailors break the huddle. Rineker, Epstein, and Ban wide to the right. Two receivers off to the left. Man in motion. Bowers is the quarterback. Now Cannon Reese coming back to help protect. Back to pass. Lots of pressure. He's got time. Throws that ball up to the flat. Incomplete. That's going to stop the clock with 58 seconds with the incomplete pass. That'll bring up a fourth and 24 for your sailor. Certainly a punting situation. So 17-6 the score, 58 seconds left in this first half. Sailors down to the Coleridge Titans. We're in Silk, Colorado right now. Here comes the snap. And a big high kick, not very far. And that one's going to take a Coleridge bounce at about the 47-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Titans. 49 seconds left in the half. I believe they may have one timeout left. Sailors need to slow them down here and stop them from scoring. Titans have had not a ton of success through the air. Completed a few passes and picked up a few yards. Jax Powers, little inside handoff over the left side. Look out, he's got a lot of green. Picks up 15 yards and a first down. Power with the carry all the way down to the 30-yard line. Timeout, Titans. Titans are going to call a timeout here. First and 10 now from the Sailors 30. Austin Band makes the tackle downfield for your Steamboat Sailors. 37 seconds left in this first half. Sailors down 17 to 6. Titans with the ball in Sailor territory. I'd like to thank Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. Offering you knowledgeable advice helpful service and quality products. I'd also like to thank UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. I'd also like to thank Brian and the gang over at Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC and Alpine Lumber. Employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. After the timeout, first and ten for the Titans. Salazar under center. Back to Pat. No, inside handoff. Ball down. And that's going to be knocked down for a loss. Titans recover. But uh, a bad quarterback running back exchange. Power couldn't pick it up. And that's going to bring up a second and long. Another timeout here for the Titans. So second and 15. Ball marked back at the 35-yard line of Steamboat headed in the direction the Sailors would like 32 seconds left in this first half Sailors down 17 to 6 I'd like to thank Yampa Valley Bank the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank they are lending member FDIC Yampa Valley Bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig Steamboat's only locally owned bank Second down, 15 to go. Back to pass. And the Sailors have Salazar under pressure. He dives forward. No, he gets out. And that was picked off. Cannon Reese. So 21 seconds left, and the Sailors get the ball. Second interception for the senior, Cannon Reese, who's having a way of the game tonight. 
So Salazar, a bit of a Houdini out there. I thought he was taken down for a loss. All of a sudden, he's on the far side of the field. I don't know how he got away, but he did. Threw the ball up, though, in traffic, and Cannon Reese picks it off, and the Sailors have a first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. 21 seconds to go in the first half. And it looks like Raper is the quarterback, and he is knocked down for a loss. We got flags everywhere. It looks like in, it's like probably holding as Jack Powers took Tanner Raper down. Slow to get up, but he's on his feet. And the face mask against the Sailors. So that's going to march the Sailors back with 16 seconds left. Oh no, I guess it's against the Titans. Now, the refs are confused, I'm confused. So it is against the Titans. This is a 15-yard penalty. It is going to be very, not an automatic first down. That's going to be really close. So it is going to be a first and in inches. So Tanner Raper coming in. 16 seconds left. Spreading everybody out. Raper limping a little bit. He is in at quarterback from the gun. He's got Cannon Reese behind him. Reese. That's a five-yard loss on the sack. As Cannon Reese is just under a ton of pressure, and I don't blame him, but he's looking at the lineman, not able to look down the field. So that brings up a second and five, and that's going to do it in the first half. Sailors down 17-6. to six. We've got second-half action coming your way. Some Sailor spotlights as well. You are tuned to Steamboat Sailors football. The Steamboat Sailors down 17-6 to six here after one half of play from Cole Ridge High School. On your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection, KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Sports Connection. KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. Steamboat Sailors Boys Football on 98.9. Steamboat Sailors Football is brought to you by Doc's Auto Fred, Yampa Valley Bay, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, and Chris Puckett with Edward Jones. Don't miss a second of the hard-hitting football action. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. Check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Football is also brought to you by Ace Hardware, Yampa Valley Medical Center, Russell's Auto Salon. Steamboat Channel Center and Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Our sponsors support the sailors, so return the favor and support our sponsors. Steamboat Sailors Football, only on Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYB. Steamboat Spring and SteamboatRadio.com. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Jim Hall. I'm the 
name is Stuart Hansen, and I'm a senior at Steel Springs High School. I'm number 55, and I play defensive end and outside tackle. This is my first year playing. I also like to play baseball, and I free ski. I like to go to college at Coastal Carolina University, and I do not plan on playing. In 10 years, I see myself in the military, specifically in the Air Force. Outside of school, I'm also involved in hanging out with friends and skiing. My favorite subject in school is AP Physics. Last summer, I went boarding in Wyoming at a reservoir named Pathfinder, and we were just on the same beaches for two weeks, and we cove camped back into hidden coves where nobody really goes. My goals for this season are to rally the team and have the community rally behind our team and support us. My goals for life are to be successful and to make a lot of money. What I will remember most about being a sailor is being part of a family and always having my brothers back. My name is Theo Hansen. I'm a senior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. This is Skip Beardorf from Alpine Lumber here on Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the end. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Sailors football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber. Located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens, Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Hi, this is Barry and this is Phil. Russell's Auto Store. Hey, at Russell's, we make it easy for you. All you got to do is bring me an email address and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Whenever you go on a long trip, it is important to check your vehicle's fluids. Not just oil and brake, but also your windshield wiper fluid, so you can see better. A quick tip so you don't get hit, Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by a Call us at 970-879-1515. We are proud to support Steamboat Sailors Football. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. My name is Jack Tracy, and I'm a sophomore in Steamboat Springs High School. My number is 65. My positions are offensive line and defensive end. Years playing, this will be my second year. I also like to play like track and ski. Not really sure where I'd like to go to college yet, but I would like to play football and track in college. And I see myself in 10 years just being kind of successful or happy. Outside of school, I'm also involved in just hanging out with friends, working at Steamboat Lake. And my favorite subject in school is probably lunch. My favorite movie is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. It's just a funny movie. It never gets old to me. And last summer I worked at Steamboat Lake Marina. It was a good job. It was hanging out at the lake all day. So my goals for the season are just to play every game as hard as I can. My goals for life are to just be a successful person. What I remember most about being a sailor is probably the conditioning. Some of the kids weren't really ready for that and that was pretty funny to watch. My name is Jack Tracy. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where there are no Hail Marys, just awesome touch. Down dances. This is Skip Beardorf from Alpine Lumber here on Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the end of it. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. We are proud to sponsor Steamboat Springs Sailors football this season. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Well, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm 
my name is John Slurry, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 69, and I play on the offensive and defensive line. Um, I've played for five years with one year at the high school level. Um, I also like wrestling, and I would like to go to college at West Point. I hope to play football or to wrestle in college, and in 10 years, I see myself being fairly successful, possibly in the military. I also have school. I'm also involved in church. I acolyte at St. Paul's, and my favorite subject in school is probably science. My favorite movie is Blazing Saddles, just because it's very funny. It's a classic. It never gets old. And last summer, I worked a bit for the school, and I also attended a football camp at the Air Force Academy, just to make myself better. My goals for this season are to play the best that I can, and to make the team better by doing so. And my goals for life are to be successful, hopefully get married, and get a good job that I really enjoy. What I remember most about being a sailor is teamwork and camaraderie involved. My name is John Slurry. I'm a sophomore and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just paid some power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the helpful all-your-home needs place. PJ Wharton, president of Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank and proud sponsor of the Steamboat High School football broadcast. Is there a better setting to cheer on your hometown sailors than Gardner Field? Go Sailors! Steamboat High School Athletics, an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. If you're looking for a better banking experience, walk, or better yet, rush through our doors. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Shaquille Fagan. I'm a senior in high school. My number is 70. I'm a lineman. I've been playing football for two years. I also like basketball, and I'm thinking about doing track next year. I'd like to go to college at Mesa or CSU. I would not play college football. In 10 years, I see myself becoming an actor or doing constructions. Outside of school, I'm also involved. had a job at Casey's Farm, and my my favorite subject in school is math. Favorite movie is Fast and Furious because um, it's just the action. It's, it's like really fun to watch. Last summer, I hanged out with my friends a lot and we planned a trip to go to Bee Leeches and we had fun. My goals for life are to be a great person, become a successful man. What I will remember most about being a sailor is just that having like my teammates watching over my back and being there for me. My name is Shaquille Fagan, and I'm a senior in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, this is Doc from Doc Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. Chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. 
My name is Eden Reese. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 23, and my position is a kicker. This is my first year playing, and I also play soccer. Where I'd like to go to college would probably be somewhere in Texas to Oklahoma. In college, I would love to be able to keep playing soccer and just increase in my game. In two years, I hope I see myself with a good career and hopefully still playing soccer. Outside of school, I'm involved in other sports and activities like that. My favorite subject in school is history because, I don't know, I just like deeply into history. It's just my favorite thing. My favorite movie, oh my gosh, this has been so hard. I like the Lord of the Rings like series because I like action. I can't settle for romance or anything like that. Last summer, I competed in a whole bunch of tournaments and we won second place, which was great for soccer. My goals for the season are just playing hard and trying to get better and boosting up my confidence for being a kicker. My goals in life are just live life at its goals. I don't want to have any regrets at the end. What I remember most about being a sailor is like the unity and the everything, just how the team supports each other and we don't talk each other down. We just stay together as one big unit. My name is Eden Reese. I'm a sophomore and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. P.J. Wartz and president of Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank and proud sponsor of the Steamboat High School football broadcast. Is there a better setting to cheer on your hometown sailors than Gardner Field? Go Sailors! Steamboat High School Athletics, an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. If you're looking for a better banking experience, walk, or better yet, rush through our doors. Remember FDIC, an equal housing lender. Sports on FM. This is a 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Football. Now let's go to the booth for the call of Steamboat Sailors Football. Ah, uh, yeah, welcome back. You are tuned to Steamboat Sailors football. Steamboat Sailors after one quarter of play. Or in one half of play, excuse me, down 17-6 to six to the Coleridge Titans. Getting brisk here in Silk, Colorado. Steamboat Sailors have had a tough go here. This, this Coleridge team is big, and they are tough. But the Steamboat Sailors playing hard. They got down early, 14-0. And then the Steamboat Sailors were able to batten down the hatches. A few p penalties against Cole Ridge, some good stops. And the Steamboat Sailors forced Cole Ridge into a punting situation early in the second quarter. Finn Russell got through the line and blocked that punt and was able to take it into the house for the lone Sailor score. Unfortunately, though, the Sailors were unable to add the extra point. And then Coleridge came down. The Sailors slowed them down and were able to force a field goal try, which was good, and that made it 17-6 to end the first half of play. So after one half of play here, senior night at Coleridge High School, Steamboat Sailors find themselves in a bit of a hole, 17-6, but they're going to get the ball here to start the half and if they can drive down and get a score anything can happen the Seamboat Sailors unable though to get anything going through the air when they're forced to pass just too much pressure they've gotten some runs they've got made some positive yards here but uh, this Coleridge team is big they've got a big 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 offensive and defensive line and they've been able to wreak havoc on your Steamboat Sailors. Tanner Raper played quarterback for all but one snap. Drew Bowers did try to throw the ball but he was under a great deal of pressure. The Sailors have not been able to complete a pass here in this first half. They've gotten a, a couple of runs um, but not really able to generate a ton of offense. Let's see if the Steamboat Sailors coaching staff can make some adjustments here at halftime. And uh, see if we can get something going. Certainly not out of it. Down by 11 points here at halftime. 
17-6 of the score. Got about two minutes to go before the kickoff. We'll be back at 1.30 on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. We are KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town, but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Action. Second half action after one half of play. Your Steamboat Sailors down to the Coleridge Titans. 17 to 6. Sailors are set to receive here. Starting off third quarter action. Cannon Reese, the seniors, had a whale of a game. Two interceptions. A 75-yard punt. Some good defensive plays. Obviously, the two interceptions. Gotten a couple of runs for positive yards, but really, as I mentioned, the Sailors have not been able to get past this big Coal Ridge line, and they've got some big kids. Sailors are going to be moving right to left on your radio dial here to start the second half. Salazar, the quarterback, is also their kicker. He got the 35-yard field goal here that made it 17-6. to Here comes the kick. That one's going to be fielded there by Rineker. Oh, Rineker drops it, and he's got a fall on it, so the Sailors are going to be pushed back. Bad field position. So Matt Rineker... Looked up, he had some time and just couldn't hold on to the football as he was trying to move it into his left hand. And it's gotten cold out here. As you know, once the lights go down and once the sun falls behind the mountains here in Colorado, it gets brisk. And the temperature has been dropping. So, Raper, the quarterback, under center. Two men in the backfield. Receivers to the right and left. Raper's going to take that around the left side. Pick up of positive yards. Gets about eight on the play. So, Tanner Raper, jet sweep, quarterback keep over the right side. That's going to bring up about five yards. So, it's going to bring up a second down, about four and a half to go for the first. Ball marked down at about the 18-yard line. Sailors need to get to about the 22 for the first down, their own 22. Moving right to left on the radio dial. Rineker split wide to the right. Two receivers off to the left, one man in the backfield. Raper under center. And back to pass, three yards. Slant play. Ooh, that one's picked off. And that one's going to be taken back to the house. Touchdown, Cole Ridge. 
Ball one's caught by number 11, Stephen Pizzelli. And quick three-step drop. Raper looking for a quick slant pattern there and didn't see the defensive back and that's going to be taken back for the touchdown. The Sailors have a man down. So that makes it 23-6. And a tough one. Raper was able to pick up positive yards, picked up six yards on the opening run. And then the Sailors trying to Surprise Cole Ridge with a quick pass. Little pop pass play. Quick two, three step drop. Little timing play, but Spizzelli read that one and took it into the house for six on a 23 yard interception return. That's Theo Hansen who's down on the play. Looks like he might have just cramped up. Maybe got a charley horse. I'm not sure. All right. Extra point try now. So Salazar attempting the extra point. Here comes the snap, the hold, and the kick. And, and that one is up, and it is good. So with 11.06 left in the third quarter, 24-6 the score. Cole Ridge on top. Not exactly the way. Steamboat wanted to start that second half. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 Steamboat Sailors Football. Brought to you in part by Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. They are lending, member FDIC. And Alpine Lumber, go see Skip, Todd, and the gang. Employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friends. Remember, you are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. You can also listen and watch this game on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Click on the Steamboat Sailors icon, scroll down to the football schedule, find tonight's game against Cole Ridge. Click the watch link, and you, my friends, are cooking with gas. So after the interception return for the touchdown, it will be a Sailors return, short kick picked up by Reese at the 18, and he is snuffed down. As that one looked like it was going to go out of bounds, but it took a Coleridge bounce. And he picked it up at the 18. And where are they going to mark it? Down at the 17? <clears throat> so it'll be first and 10 for the Steamboat Sailors. Backed up in their own red zone. From their own 14 yard line. Austin Band, the lone running back. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, man in motion. And a pitch to Reese over the right side. Reese tries to get the edge. Ooh, he is hit hard on the far side. And he does not get back to the original line of scrimmage. It looks like he's going to be dropped down at about the 10. Ramirez on the tackle. A hard hit. That's going to bring up a second down and 15 for the Sailors. It's going to bring up second down and 14. Clock is ticking as Reese remained in bounds. 11.30 left in this third quarter. Sailors down 24-6. Tyler Doyne, the lone receiver, off to the left. Matt Grinnaker in tight to the right. And back to pass is Raper. He throws that one up. A little too far down the sideline looking for Rineker. That's going to stop the clock and make it a third and 14. Third and 14. 24-6 to score. 10-14 left in this third quarter. Some confusion there on the play. As Reese thought it was fourth down. Two men in the backfield, Reese and Ban. Receivers to the right and left. A little reverse play. Reniker gets the ball. He's got positive yards, and he's going to be real close to the first down. Hard to take down. Reniker is going to have a first down, I believe, depending on the spot. 
He's down to the 25-yard line. It is going to be really, really close. So a nice play there for your Steamboat Sailors. I have an odd angle where I am and down low, so I don't get a good vantage point from where I'm calling this game. But a first and 10 for your Steamboat Sailors from their own 25-yard line. And little option play inside handoff there. Positive yards for Austin Band. Picks up about a yard or two on the carry inside. That'll bring up a second down and eight. So second down, eight to go. Ball marked down at about the 26-yard line. Clock ticking, 9.23 left in this third quarter. Sailors down 24-6. to six. Johnny Q. Kaminsky bringing the play in from the sideline. Sailors break the huddle quickly. Tyler Doyne, Mack Rineker. Both in tight here to the left side. Two running backs in the backfield. Raper under center. And inside handoff again to Ban. Pounding it forward, picking up positive yards. He had over 100 yards against Aspen. Got most of those in the second half. He is short squat wrestler. 5'7", 165 pounds. That's going to bring up a third down, about four to go for the first. Ball marked down at about the 32-yard line of Steamboat. Sailors moving right to left. Tyler Doyne and Rineker off to the right now. Two men in the backfield. Tanner Raper. Got to get this play off quickly. Three-step drop, little bubble screen over the right side. First down, Rineker. Rineker still on his feet, out to the 50, down to the 45. A huge pass and catch on the bubble screen over the right side. 46-yard line of the Titans. So the Sailors in Titan territory, their biggest offensive play. That's going to bring up a first and 10 for the Sailors. Ball marked down at the 46-yard line of Cole Ridge. Clock rolling here. Eight minutes and counting. Left in this third quarter. 24-6 the score. Tyler Doyne, the lone receiver off to the left. Rineker off to the right. Two men in the backfield. Raper under center. Tanner back to pass. Quick no. And he nearly dropped the ball there. Looked like he probably should have done the inside handoff on the option play. Put it in the bread basket of Ben. And then pulled it out and then realized the man he wanted to pitch it to was not open. In Cannon Reese, he held on to it and the Sailors lose four yards on the play. So the ball marked down at the 49-yard line of Cole Ridge. Two receivers off to the right, two to the left. And a quick inside handoff. No, Raper's going to keep that one. And Raper stopped again by Brody Morgan. Tanner Raper stopped again on the sweep. Another option play there. That's going to bring up a third and about 15. He lost a half a yard on the play. Still on the tight side of the 50. <clears throat> third down, about 15 to go for the first. Clock rolling here, 6.30 left in this third quarter. Sailors down 24-6. to six. Trips off to the right. Tyler Doyne, the lone screen over to the left. Bubble screen here. Quick pass and catch, throws it out. That one's caught by Cannon Reese. Positive yards down the right sideline, still on his seat. He's got the first down down to the 22-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. The senior with a big pass and catch. That bubble screen seems to be working. 6.08. The clock stops as Reese goes out of bounds. First and 10 for the Sailors. Ball marked down to about the 20. For the Sailors. 22, 23 yard line. Now, Tanner Raper from the gun. He's got two receivers to the right, three to the left, empty backfield. Spreading it out. 
Watch the quarterback keep here. Back to pass. Throws it over the left side. He's got Ritiker. Oh, he was open and nearly caught it. Oh, Mac Ritiker's going to see that one in his sleep. That was a nice pass by the Tanner Raper. Throwing it to the left end zone. The sophomore quarterback had his man and put a nice ball out there, and Rindaker couldn't haul it in. Hit him in a bad spot. That'll bring up a second down and 10. The Sailors moving the ball nicely here. 6.02, clock stops with the incomplete pass. Three receivers off to the left. Lone Epstein way to the left. Two to the right. Back to pass. Empty backfield. Oh, and he just doesn't have that much time. And quarterback, he's just a sophomore and not necessarily a quarterback by design, if you will, as he started this season as a running back. But he's shown he can throw the football. That's going to bring up a third and 15 now. Clock still rolling here. 535 left in the third quarter. Sailors down 24 to 6. Ball marked down at the 27-yard line of the Titans. Three receivers to the left, two to the right. Empty backfield. Quarterback keep. And a good job by the Titans defensive line to stop him. And that's going to bring up a fourth and long. And you got to think this is four-down territory, down 24-6. It's the best drive for your Steamboat Sailors. I don't know if they're going to... Clock is rolling here for 4.50 now, left in this third quarter. Again, the Sailors down 24-6. They are going to go for it, fourth and a long 14. And the Sailors, I believe, are going to call a timeout and discuss. I'd like to thank Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend, just on the other side of the tracks, from Walgreens, across Highway 40, from Ski House, for all your building material needs. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. And Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Big shout out to Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition between McDonald's on Highway 40. Russell's Auto Salon, bringing you the collision of the game, your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing tools, grills, garden, and more, offering you knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. So fourth and 14, Sailors are going to send three receivers off to the right, two to the left, empty backfield, Tanner Raper, the quarterback, the sophomore, from the gun, back to pass, he's got to get rid of this quickly, he throws it up, he's got a man, oh, that was picked off far side, and that's going to be taken back to the 20 and knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line, and we've got a flag on the play, and that might be a personal foul against the Steamboat Sailors as he was knocked out of bounds. That was intercepted there by Raul Ramirez, the senior, making a nice play. But that one acts like a punt, so... Yeah, it's a personal foul against the Sailors as he was tackled way out of bounds. Definitely not something the Sailors and the coaching staff wanted called against him. So that's going to march him back another 15 yards. So that is a bummer. 4.27 left in this third quarter. 24-6 the score. The Titans on top of your Steamboat Sailors. That was the best offensive drive for your Steamboat Sailors, though, as they got the ball down to the 20-yard line and were just unable to move it from there. Inside handoff. And the Sailors read it. Pick up of a few yards on the play. And Ford Loudon with the stop. Ford Loudon stopping the ball carrier after a four-yard pickup. 
Second down, six to go. Ball's marked down at the 35-yard line. Salazar, the quarterback, under center. And in motion, powers the court, uh, ball carrier. Gets the inside carry. Tackled by Loudon and Reese. I know Ford was banged up a little bit. Never like it when your Ford gets banged up. But Ford Loudon was banged up a little bit last week and didn't get much action in the second half. It looks like he's definitely getting some defensive play. He's been in a bunch of tackles. Inside handoff play. Oh, play action. Sailors read it. And a nice play by Finn Russell, the freshman. That kid is something else. Illegal switch. Illegal switch. Man in motion. motion. Legal procedure. That one is going to go against the Titans. We've got flags all over the place there. So the clock stops with 324. 24 6, Sailors down. And they're going to march. So a third down now and about nine. And, a nine for the Titans. and inside handoff once again to Powers. And the Sailors read that. Nice play. That's going to bring up a fourth and long. Jack Power with the carry. So this is another what feels like a punting situation. I'd watch for the fake, though. The way that Finn Russell was able to get in there on the last punting situation. Salazar is the quarterback, the kicker, and the punter. Keenan Reese back deep. Let's see if he can return one here. Here comes the snap. It's a low one. He's going to throw it right down the middle of the field. Incomplete. So the Sailors will get the ball back. So an incomplete pass there. A little trickeration. As I kind of expected. As the Titans were a little bit gun shy because Finn Russell blocked the only punt of the first half. So it will be Sailors' ball on the turnover on downs. Sailors will have it first and 10 from the Titans' 39 yard line. Moving left, right to left on your radio dial. Two receivers to the right, nobody to the left. Two men in the backfield. Back to Pat. No, a little quarterback keep and Tanner Raper is going to fall forward but looks like there's a holding on the play as we've got a, a flag from the back judge on the steamboat side of the field face mask is going to go against the Titans so this is a break for your steamboat sailors and is going to move the ball in the right direction so 235 left in this third quarter, 24-6 the score. The wind's starting to pick up and we are right in the middle of a cornfield I believe. Hard to tell, no crops, but uh, we're definitely, looks like this was built in the middle of a ranch this high school. Newer high school. Not that old. It's an incidental face mask so it's a five yard penalty which will bring up first and five ball marked down at what, the 20, 34 yard line. Raper under center, two men in the backfield, inside handoff to Reese. He falls forward, picks up a yard or two over the right side of the line. Maybe a yard they give him on the carry. So the clock ticking here, ball down to the 34-yard line. Second down, about four to go. Tanner Raper looking to the sidelines for the call. Running the play in for Steamboat. Ryan Hansen. Sailors need to get this play off quickly. They do. Raper's going to keep it. Push off to the left side and he is sacked for a loss. Quarterback keep is it was a definite run. But uh, Along with the Brody. Titans getting some good penetration there. Job, and that will bring up a 
third and about seven as he is dropped for a two yard, three yard loss there on the play. Ball's going to be marked down at about the 36 yard line. 120 left in this third quarter. Rineker wide to the right. Doyne and Reese in tight to the left. One man in the backfield, that's Austin Band. Rape of the quarterback, and we've got movement. <clears throat> Offside is going to go against the Titans. That's a five-yard penalty, so the Sailors are going to get it back, and that's going to bring up a third and two. So fortunate play there. Rineker getting the play from the sideline. He runs it in. Sailors are going to break the huddle quickly here. And now the Sailors are going to call a timeout. Some confusion uh, here. Ryan Hansen wasn't sure team. what was going on. And Steamboat's going to call a quick timeout here with 105 left in the third quarter. 24-6 the score. Sailors down to the Coleridge Titans. Sailors have actually been able to move the ball a little bit in this half. Third down. Two yards to go for the first. Ball is marked down at the 31-yard line. I'd like to thank our friends at UC Health Center at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Let your investments gain big yardage. Call Chris Puckett today at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. 105 left in the third quarter. Third down, two to go for your Steamboat Sailors. First down territory, ball marked down on the 31-yard line of the Titans. Rolling off to his right is Raper. He's pulled down from behind, and he's going to lose five yards. Steven Pizzelli with the stop. Oh. Looked like it could have been a horse tackle, horse collar tackle there, but uh, Raper up and limping, a little gimpy out there, and that's going to bring up a fourth and ten. Fourth and 10. 40 seconds and counting left in this third quarter. Drew Bowers is going to come in at quarterback. Remember, Bowers is the passing quarterback going from the gun. Two receivers to the right, three to the left. Actually now in motion goes Reese, so we've got two and two. Back to pass, stepping up, throwing that ball up. Bowers has got a man! Oh, and just over the outstretched hands of Mac Rineker. A nice pass there by Bowers. Nearly had him, just overthrew him. That stops the clock with 14 seconds left in this third quarter, 24-6. That's going to be a turnover on downs. So a tip for a tat here to end this third quarter. First it was the Titans who turned over on downs, and now it was the Sailors. And the ball is at about the same place. First and ten for the Titans at their own 39-yard line, moving left to right on your radio dial. Man in motion. Back pass back over the right side. Positive yards. And that was actually a lateral pass. If he hadn't caught that, Hernandez makes the catch. And sweeps left to right. Picks up about eight yards on the play. So 24-6. We'll be back in 30 seconds here with fourth quarter action on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. With fourth quarter action on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all-your-home needs place. That 
after three quarters of play, your Steamboat Sailors down 24-6. Certainly leaving it on the field. And it's been a fun one. It's Halloween. It's senior night here at Coal Ridge. And looks like they're throwing bags of candy. Man, if they go going up here, that might be dinner for me. So second down inches here for Cole Ridge. Another lateral pass backwards to Hernandez. He gets the first down over the left side, picks up about 10 yards, and that's going to be a first and 10 down to the 43-yard line of Steamboat. Johnny Q. Kaminsky on the stop. Salazar sort of rolls to his right and, and doesn't pitch it back, throws it back. Looks dangerous, but they've completed it and they've picked up positive yards now. Salazar inside handoff to Powers. He's been the main ball carrier. Sailors read it and they push him back. Powers was super successful early on. And picked up a lot of yards in the first quarter, but the Sailors have definitely battened down the hatches. Tightened things up, neatened up the ship, and have been slowing this Titan team down. Second down, eight to go for the first ball marked down at the 41-yard line. Salazar, another inside hand. No, a pitch to the right. That's Hernandez. Positive yards. He's got the edge. He's got the first down. Brandon Herrera with the carry. Excuse me, that's Herrera with the carry. And Herrera is going to pick up the first down. Tyler Doyne on the tackle. And he goes out of bounds. First and ten Titans. Eleven minutes left in this ball game. Titans on top, 24 to six. Ball marked down to about the 32-yard line. Salazar under center. Powers the big back. Hand off over the left side to Powers. And a nice tackle there by Reese. Second down, about eight to go for the first ball. Marked down at the 30. Second down and nine. Maybe nine. 10.42, clock rolling here. Ball directly in the middle of the field. Second down, nine to go. Ball marked down at the 30 of Steamboat. Salazar, another handoff there to Power. Power, Powers to his left. Picks up positive yards. He'll be close to the first down. Gets about eight or nine on the play. And Riley McCannon on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. And he is just short of the first down. Nope, they're going to give it to him. So first and ten. Ball down at the 20-yard line of Steamboat. Cole Ridge moving right to left on your radio dial in black and blue. And that's sort of what they're doing with this run game to your Steamboat Sailors. Salazar under center. Inside hand off to Power. Shoestring tackle. Nope. Escapes that. But then there's a shipwreck on the far side of the field. So a nice play by the Steamboat Sailors. They really have done a better job on defense. Made some adjustments here after the first quarter. And that's going to bring up a second down. About eight to go for the first. Timeout called here by Cole Ridge. Ball is just over the 20-yard line. 9.52 left in this fourth quarter. 24-6 the score. Cole Ridge on top of your Steamboat Sailors. Big shout out to Steamboat Resorts by Window Vacation Rentals. If you've got friends coming to town, give them a call at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. Nine fifty-two left in this ball game. Sailors down twenty-four-six. We need a turnover here. Pick six would be nice, but I've got a feeling that Cole Ridge is going to keep it on the ground, and they do. Inside handoff to Power. Power takes a slew of Sailors with him. Picks up about five, six yards on the carry. That'll bring up a third down, about three to go for the first. Ball marked down to about the 13-yard line, maybe the 14. 
Clock rolling here with 9.26 left in this ball game. Salazar under center. Ooh, staggers back. Weird handoff, but gets it off. That's going to be close to the first down. Michael Fredrickson with the carry. He has enough for a Coleridge first down. That's a first down, Coleridge, as they get it to the other side of the 10. First and goal to goal from the 9-yard line. 24-6 the score, 9-13 and counting. Another pitch over the left side here. Ferguson again with the carry. Ferguson carries the ball. First and first and ten. Excuse me, that's Fredrickson with the carry. Second and goal to goal. Ball marked down to the five-yard line. Inside handoff. Fredrickson cuts it in. Picks up positive yards. He's going to be close to the goal line. Fredrickson, the senior running back, looks like they're going to try to get him the score, being senior night and all. Last game for both of these teams, 8.35 left in the ball game. Clock still ticking, Fredrickson over the left side, touchdown. So the senior gets a touchdown here against your Steamboat Sailors. That makes it 3-6, 8.29. 8.29. Left in this fourth quarter, the clock is going to stop as they line up for the extra point. Salazar has got a foot. The quarterback is the punter, the kicker, and he's going to try to tack on the extra point here. Here comes the snap, the hold. It's a low one, but the kick is up and good. So with 8.29 left in the game, 31-6 to score. The Titans 31, and the Sailors 6. Sailors will be returning the kick. Big shout out to Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Don't forget the Steamboat Sailors boys soccer team headed to the second round of the playoffs. Tuesday afternoon, 4.30 is when it kicks off. Pre-game show will start at 4, right here on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. The Sailors taking on the number five, number 5 Classical Academy down in Colorado Springs. Sailors got a big upset win in the first round against the Golden High School Demons down in Golden. Actually, in Arvada is where the field is. They won one nothing on a 65-yard goal. Scored by... Oh, who scored that? Burskins got that goal. And that's all they needed. Super windy day. Hopefully the Sailors can get another upset win and move on to the next round of the state playoffs in soccer. Big high squibbing kick here. And Cannon Reese gets it at the 25. Reese still on his feet. As he had a hard time getting a handle of it. Takes it out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Carson Boys and... 8.23 left in this ball game. Sailors down 31-6. also like to thank Yampa Valley Bank. Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC, with locations in Steamboat and Craig. Sailors will have it first and 10 from their own 28-yard line, moving left to right on your radio dial. Tanner Raper back in at quarterback. Two men in the backfield. One receiver off to the left. None to the right. Pitch over the left side. Ooh, and this one is red, and it looks like the ball was loose. And at least some blue shirts are signaling Coleridge ball, and sure enough, a turnover. So a fumble recovery here by the Titans, and they've got the ball with great field position here. Not exactly what the doctor ordered for your Steamboat Sailors. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. 8-18 left in this ball game. 31-6 the score. Salazar back under center. Single wing, pitch over the left side. Sailors in the backfield. They had powers, but he's able to power through 
and pick up positive yards. Looked like they had him for a loss, but uh, a little stiff arm there by the Titan running back, Power. Picks up four yards on the play, second down, about six to go. Inside handoff there. Powers again carrying the ball. Kaminsky in on the on the tackle. That's going to bring up a third and inches. Ball's going to be inside the 20 down to about the 15. Another inside handoff to Power. Patient runner gets through the line. He's going to pick up the first down. Take it down inside the 10. So that'll bring up a first and goal from about the 8-yard line. Clock's going to start rolling here with about 7.18 left. First and goal for the Titans at the 8. Another handoff there to Power. And he is spun down after picking up a few yards inside the 5. Clock still rolling. 31-6 the score. Six fifty left in this game. Salazar under center. Two men in the backfield. Single wing formation. Everybody in tight. Definite run. Hand off over the left side. Fredrickson the carry. And he's going to pick up positive yards. Tyler Doyne with the tackle. Clock still rolling. Third and goal to goal from about the one yard line. And another inside handoff, and Fredrickson's going to get another touchdown. That'll stop the clock with 6.20. Left, that makes it 37-6. to Salazar is going to stay out there and add another extra point. He's gotten a field goal and a bunch of extra points. Done a decent job at quarterback, although he's thrown two interceptions to Cannon Reese, who's definitely our steamboat sailor of the game. Brought to you by our friends at Alpine Lumber. Big high kick, and that one is good. 38-6 the score. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. Also a big shout-out to Steamboat Dental Center. Dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witte and the team. Check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com or stop by and see them. I'd also like to thank Yampa Valley Bank. So the Sailors set to return the ball and they've been squibbing the ball. And Salazar got a couple of squib kicks to the left and right. He can kick this ball deep. So curious to see what he's going to do here. Sailors have not been able to muster much of a return. Sailors lined up. The returners at about the 20. Doyne and Reese. Here comes the kick. And he's going to let that one fly. And it goes over Reese's head. But it doesn't go in the end zone. Going to be picked up and goes out of bounds. So a huge break for your Steamboat Sailors. Because if that had stayed in bounds, the Sailors would have had it at about their own 9-yard line. So that's going to move the ball up to the 35-yard line, and we'll take that. We'll take every break we can get here. Because right now the score is 38-6. Cole Ridge. 6-19 left in this ball game. Sailors down. Let's see if they can put a drive together here. Put something positive together to end their season. <laughs> Sailors breaking the huddle. Rineker wide to the left. And Lowen Epstein wide to the right. Back to pass. Bowers throws it up over the right side. Doyne turns the wrong way. That was in his vicinity. Big shout-out to all the seniors. Last game, 
Cannon Reese. Of course, Riley McCannon did a good job kicking and playing defense. Theo Hansen on the line. Sailors break the huddle. 6.15 left in this ballgame. 38-6 the score. Two men in the backfield with Bowers who's going from the gun. Bowers back to pass. Throws that ball up and that one's complete to Doyne. Out of bounds. First down, Sailors. First and 10 from about the 47-yard line. Also a big shout out to Shaquille Fagan. Really came on at the end of the season, both on the offensive and defensive line. Ryan Merritt having a good season, as is Miles Buchan. Those are our seniors. Rest of the team. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. First and ten for the Sailors. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. One man in the back. No, empty backfield. Bowers back to pass. Throws it out in the flat. That one's complete to Reese. And we got flags everywhere. Looks like it's going to be a holding as Bowers was knocked down unless it's a ref in the quarterback, but I don't think that's the call. It, I believe it's going to be a holding. Sailors have had no, no time. Oh, it's, it is going to be roughing the passer. 15-yard penalty hit to the head. So the Sailors catch a big break there. The pass was complete. Should be an automatic first down. Refs taking their sweet time here, marking it off. Clock stopped with 6.03 left in this ballgame. 38-6 the score. So the Sailors will have it first and 10. Oh, no. First and about three. Oh, no, they're going to give them the first. Refs trying to figure out what's going on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. First and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Drew Bowers, quarterback, from the gun. Bowers got receivers to the right and left. Back to pass. Throws it quick, and that one's complete to Doyne. Doyne's got the first down, but we got flags everywhere, and I think that is going to be a hold. And that one is going to be against the Sailors, and that's going to come back. So, a legal motion on the Sailors. That's a five-yard penalty, if I'm not mistaken. So That's going to bring up a first down and 15. Ball back at, oh, I'm sorry, at the, at the 50. They were all the way up to the 45. Problem is, I'm standing here at the 45, so I think it's the 50. Hmm. It's been a long night. 5.48, the clock's rolling here, 38-6, Sailors down. Brian Harvey here with the call. Join us for Harvey's Huddle at the Tap House Sports Grill each and every Monday. 3 to 6 and then stay for Monday Night Football. Happy hour from 3 till the end of the game. Rolling to his left. Oh, he's hit hard. And I don't know if they're going to call that an incomplete pass or a fumble. Oh, they're saying it's a fumble. No, they're calling that a fumble. They're saying it's a fumble. It goes out of bounds here at the 45-yard line, so the Sailors are going to not catch a break, and they're going to lose another five yards on the play. The back judge thought that it was an incomplete pass, that his hand had gone forward. No, it's not a pass at all. They're saying it's, an in it's a fumble. And so it went out of bounds. So they're calling that a fumble. Everybody's confused here. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Back to pass. Throws it out over the left side. Nearly picked off. Pass was intended for Cannon Reese over the right side here. 
lands incomplete. That's going to bring up a third down and 20. Clock stops with the incomplete pass. 521 left in this ballgame. Sailors down 38-6. to Bowers, the quarterback, has completed a few passes here, but unfortunately a few penalties called against him. Then the fumble. So it's third and 20. The Sailors need to get all the way down to the 35-yard line of Cole Ridge. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Ben in the backfield. Back to pass is Bowers. Bowers throws it. That one's picked off. Coming back the other way is Cole Ridge. And tackled at the 50-yard line. Brody Morgan with the interception. And that'll be first and 10 for the Cole Ridge Titans at the 50. So the Sailors can't catch a break. 5.09 left in this ballgame, 38-6 the score. Of course, uh, in the receiver wide to the right, tight end in tight to the right, man in motion now. And they got too many men on the field. They broke the huddle with 12 men. No, no field fumble, and he's down. And they got that call right. So that's going to bring up a second down and 11. Quarterback dropped the exchange, then picked the ball up and had his knee down on the ground. So he called him down, loss of a yard. So Salazar back under center. He's going to call the same play. Jet sweep over the right side, taking it around the corner. Herrera, positive yards. And now he's still on his feet. Uh-oh. Comes back the other way. And that's going to be a touchdown for Cole Ridge. Thought we had him bottled up on the far side, but there's a flag on the field. That one's coming back is Brandon Herrera. Did a lot of work for nothing. Illegal block in the back. Illegal block in the back. So, a little block in the back helps you gain a few yards, so that's going to push him back. It's also going to stop the clock with 4.28 left in this ball game. 38-6 the score. It's going to be second down and a bunch. They call that penalty from the spot. It is a 15-yard penalty, so, wow, it will march them back and back and back. So that's going to bring up a second down and about 17 to go for the first. Ball marked down at about the 43-yard line of Cole Ridge. The Titans here. Second down, 18. Salazar. Got one receiver off to the right. Otherwise, in tight inside handoff to Power Sailors. Read that one. It's going to bring up a second and 15, maybe 16 to go. Clock rolling here with 4.09 left in this game. 38-6 the score. It has gotten chilly here. Third, 16 to go. Maybe 18. Back to pass. Throws that one complete. Sailors read it. Nice job. Loss of a yard. Cannon Reese. No, Jonathan Kaminsky. Oh, and the Sailors are maybe going to get a taunting call on the play. And that's going to... Well, if, if it's against the Sailors, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Kaminsky was definitely chatting away, and it is against Steamboat. We really didn't need that. 3.33 left in the game, 38-6 the score. That's a 15-yard penalty. And I don't know if that's an automatic first down or not. The penalty, I don't believe, is enough. It's going to be close. So that's going to bring up a third and about two to go for the first. Ball now in steamboat territory down to the 32-yard line. I get it. It's a passionate game. I've been there. 
on the ice. Inside handoff. Powers is going to be close to the first down. Nice tackle there as Kaminsky in on that tackle as well with Cannon Reese. Kaminsky having a great game. Just lost his head there. And that's going to bring up a fourth in inches. They stopped it. First down. So once they set the chains, the clock should start ticking here at 326. 38-6 the score. Sailors down to the Titans. Cole Ridge with the ball moving right to left on your radio dial. Salazar, the quarterback, another handoff to Powers over the right side. He's got positive yards. Picks up 5-6, still on his feet. Austin Bannon on the tackle over there, far side for your Sailors. Jimmy Thielen also out there tackling. Jimmy Thielen had a nice season. Second down, about four to go after a six-yard pickup for Power. Ball at about the 33 yard line. They got to get down to the 28 for the first. Uh, a little trickeration there. Nice handoff. That's a nice throw. He's going to take it to the house. Sailors fooled on that one, and I understand why. Nice action there by the quarterback. Single wing formation. That's going to be a touchdown, and that makes it 44-6. to six. Two thirty-eight left in this ball game. Here comes the snap, the hold, and the kick, and it is good. Forty-five-six. The score with two thirty-eight left in this game. Sailors down. Again, don't forget Steamboat Sailor Soccer on Tuesday, Halloween, right here. On KTYV Sports on FM, and if the technology gods smile on us, we'll have that game on video like this one at SteamboatRadio.com. Click on the Steamboat Sailors icon, scroll down to the soccer schedule, find the game against Classical Academy. Second round of the state playoffs for your Steamboat Sailors boys soccer team. Boy, if they could get another upset, how huge would that be? They've had a great little run here. It ended with the last game of the season when they upset Battle Mountain, a team they hadn't beaten in seven years. And they beat them handily, 4-1. It is Halloween weekend, and in Steamboat, we do the downtown Halloween stroll on Halloween, but over the weekend, a lot of the neighborhoods are doing Halloween and trick-or-treating. I know in Steamboat 2, they've got trick-or-treating going on Saturday night, tomorrow night. So, beware. <laughs> Watch out. Drive slow if you're in the neighborhoods. Two thirty-eight left in this ball game. Sailors set to return this kickoff. Salazar the kicker, big booming kick. It's going to be taken there at about the 15 by Reese. Reese over the left side, still on his feet, out over the 30. Cuts it out towards the middle, still standing, out to the 45-yard line. Nice return for Cannon Reese. Cannon's had a heck of a game. He's certainly our sailor of the game today. His last game of his high school career, he's the Swiss Army Knife. That kid played just about every position this year, running back. Quarterback, receiver, kicker, punter. Now, I don't know actually if he actually kicked the ball, but he certainly punt punted the ball. He returned kicks, returned punts. And he will be missed. I'm sure he is on to bigger and brighter things. A salute to all the seniors as this is their final game of their high school career. I'm sure bittersweet. Bowers under center. And handoff over the right side. And Austin Band gets the first down. Positive yards, 11 yards on the carry. Austin Band with the carry. That kid's going to be something special. He's a junior. He's not big, but he is stout. 
Built like a fire hydrant. Built like me. <laughs> five seven, five eight, hundred and sixty five pounds. I might have a few pounds on him. But in high school, that's about what I weighed. Sailors have the ball at the 42-yard line of Cole Ridge. Under center, Bowers. Receivers off to the left. Two men in the backfield. Another handoff. Positive yard, Sailors. That's the... Nice carry there by the Finn McMissile, Finn Russell. Not for a first down, so... The freshman getting some carry, and I understand he's quite a running back as well. Sailors are going to call a timeout here as they have the ball in Coleridge territory. Ball marked down at the 28-yard line, first and 10. You are tuned to KTYV, Steamboat Springs, Sports on FM. It's been a great season. Thanks for hanging with me throughout the football season. Hockey and basketball coming up in just a month. We've got a little bit of a respite here from football, and hopefully the Steamboat Sailors boys soccer team continues their surprising run in the state playoffs. Unfortunately, the Sailors girls volleyball team lost to Eagle. I don't believe they're going to be moving on in the state playoffs. A tough loss. They had a great season as well. And the future is certainly bright for your Steamboat Sailors football team. Cannon Reese, the quarterback. Quarterback keep over the left side. Oh, he lost his footing. Jet sweep over the left side. Quarterback keep. And that'll bring up a second down. Ten to go. Ball marked down at the 28-yard line. Clock ticking with 1.30 left in this ball game. Bowers again lining up at quarterback now. Reese lined up before. And Bowers is going to hand up over the right side to Reese. Reese positive yards. Taken down from behind, close to the first down, but he won't get it. Ball's going to be marked down to the 20. He's got to get to the 18. Sailors are going to call another timeout here. Give me an opportunity to thank our sponsors. Hey, we can't do, we can't bring you Sailor Sports. And not many towns are going to tout our own horn here a little bit. I have a radio station that follows the Steamboat Sailors around. And not only does football, but we do soccer. We do boys and girls basketball and ice hockey in the winter. Girls soccer and boys lacrosse in the spring. And we carry Steamboat Wranglers home games. Junior hockey. We're a ski town with a sports problem, that's for sure. We are KTYV Sports on FM. Big shout out to my broadcast partner, Vlad Jace, who does all the soccer games. He does a great job. He gets a little help from Chris Puckett. Bowers under center, third and one. Ball at the 20-yard line. And Reese carrying the ball. We've got we got flags on the play. Looks like it could be a holding call. This one might go against the Sailors. I'd like to thank our friends at Docs Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. A proud sponsor of our broadcast. That will be a holding call against Steamboat. That's going to march him back a little bit. Also, like to thank Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member of FDIC. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witte and the team, or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Also, a big shout out to Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition between town and the mountain. Steamboat's only full-service car wash. Also like to thank Russell's Auto Salon, bringing you the collision of the game, and there's been a few. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Bowers from the gun. Third down and about 12. Back to pass. Throws that ball up over the left side. 
Reese has got to come back for it. He does. He's got it. Oh, he's at the goal line. Did he get the touchdown? Oh, man. He's down at the one. Cannon Reese nearly dove in for the touchdown, and boy, would that have been nice. That's He is giving it up. It's his last game of his high school career. At 135 pounds, I don't think he's going on to play college ball. Well, they got to call this play quickly. The clock stopped but when they moved the chains. 25 seconds left. 45-6 the score. Sailors are certainly out of it. Reese is under center. He's going to go forward with it. Gets a little help from behind. They're going to line it up quick. Clock's rolling down at 18 seconds. Sailors are going to line it up. And the Sailors spike it. And that's going to stop the clock with nine seconds left. Second down, goal to goal. Ball marked down at the, or excuse me, third down, goal to goal. Ball's marked down at about the three-yard line. I think you got to put Bowers back in there. They're trying to get the ball to Kane and Reese. They want the senior to get the touchdown. Classy move. Back to pass, and it's going to be a QB keep for Reese. Oh, Reese loses his footing. He was so close. And that's going to do it. Thanks to Monica Chavez for doing a wonderful job on the board. Thanks to you. Congratulations to the Steamboat Sailors on a nice season. We will talk to you real soon. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. You're tuned. And we'll rejoin regularly scheduled programming right now. Bob at SteamboatRadio.com. You're tuned. And we'll rejoin regularly scheduled programming right now. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for a bug.